what is up everybody skilly here happy saturday night i hope everybody's doing good hey so listen <clears throat> let's get uh let's get a couple of just housekeeping things out of the way real quick <clears throat> i don't know how long tonight's stream is gonna be um <laughs> for those who aren't in the discord or don't know my family got sick this week i got sick on wednesday it has kicked my ass um <clears throat> You can probably tell my voice is not the best. I probably sound nasally. Uh, family and I got strep throat. Feeling a little bit better. So this is either going to be the shortest stream I've ever done or the longest. Uh, we'll see how well my voice holds out and uh, how well I feel throughout it. So it might be two hours. It might be five hours. I don't know. We'll see how I feel and, and if the voice stays with me. Um, <clears throat> I also saw a $2 donation from cry Cabot with a bunch of peaches and it said 69 minutes no noise, right? Yeah. Noise. So I'm sorry. I sound like shit. I know I do, but I could not stay away from tears of the kingdom. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, my family is doing most of my, fa my family's good. My family's good. The kids bounce back pretty quick after they got on antibiotics I being having immune system issues and immunocompromised, this stuff kind of unfortunately hits me harder. It takes me a little bit more time. I'm on day three of antibiotics. I should feel much better starting like Monday, Tuesday. So, you know, but anyway, all right. So we are doing Tears of the Kingdom tonight, right, guys? Real quick, I'm sure somebody's going to ask at some point, and I'll probably have to answer this multiple times. The stream is available in 1440p. 60 fps so if you know nintendo and you know nintendo switch the switch only outputs at 1080p i um have done some voodoo sorcery in the background we're not going to talk too much about it because i don't want uh i shouldn't even fucking say this i don't want nintendo coming after me nintendo stay away from me i haven't done anything wrong but uh i am i am it's i'm bringing you zelda upscaled in 1440p 60 fps instead of 30 fps all right we'll see how it looks we'll see if it works tonight all right <laughs> uh it should be fingers crossed one of the best looking streams of zelda unless other people are doing the same thing i'm doing okay i swear to god this better not get me in trouble with nintendo because they are they are notorious for not liking it when people do stuff that they don't intend with their games so uh but welcome everybody i hope everybody's doing good uh i'm probably not gonna be able to scream tonight i usually just scream organically but uh we'll see what happens when the first time i want to yell comes up i don't think my voice is gonna allow me to do it but we'll see <laughs> um i hope everybody's doing good i hope everybody had a great week i'm sorry i've been silent for so long Welcome all the mods, Dracice, Goober, any other mods that are here. I appreciate you guys. I know I have like 500 notifications on Discord that I haven't gotten to. So if you're a mod or somebody's messaged me or something or in my Discord, I just, it's been survival mode this week, okay? <laughs> so that's all it is. All right, hey, so real quick, let's talk. If you don't know anything about Zelda, you don't know anything about Tears of the Kingdom, Tears of the Kingdom is the sequel to Zelda Breath of the Wild, which came out in 2017, 2018, I think. I did play Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild, I put 175 hours into that game. It was an open world masterpiece, in my opinion. I absolutely loved it. It quickly overtook Ocarina of Time to be my favorite Zelda game of all time. I know that's a very strong stance. There are tons of people who love it just as much, and there are people who hate it. That's okay. You're welcome to have your own opinions. I loved it, though. Um, so it's been a long time since I played Breath of the Wild, but I did put a shit ton of time into it, and I did everything in it, all of the DLC and everything. Um, my understanding is, you know, you don't necessarily need to have played or even seen any of Breath of the Wild to uh, enjoy or understand what happens in Tears of the Kingdom. If you have, um, there's going to be some nice nods or some callbacks. I'll try to bring you guys along or, like, speak to those things when they happen for those who may not know what they are but i'm a huge zelda fan so uh this is gonna be a shit ton of fun we're also gonna do something super nerdy okay super super nerdy all right i <laughs> this is how big of a zelda fan i am all right and you guys can make fun of me and give me shit for this i have i'm not joking 
I have every single amiibo for Zelda. My kids and I collect them, okay? So here's an example. Here's one. Here's the T Tears of the Kingdom one that just came out. I don't know if the camera's going to focus. But you could use these in games. So I have like 20. Come on, camera. You piece of shit. Oh, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. God, my voice sounds so bad. I'm monitoring it in my headset, and I, I sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> All right. Well, the 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 headset it's not gonna it's not gonna focus. I'll try to work on that later. I didn't have a lot of time to set up tonight. But anyway, I have all of the Zelda amiibos. They're like on a shelf behind me back here. So we'll use those when we get the ability to do that in game. They give you items and they do some other fun shit. I think. So Crycabot just gifted a channel membership, and Anthony was the recipient of that. So thank you, Crycabot. Appreciate it. And uh, Anthony, welcome to channel membership. So, all right, uh, <laughs> welcome everybody. I know there's a ton of people here. Let's get into it, okay? I might have to cut my face cam here at the beginning because uh, there's probably like an opening cinematic and story stuff, but I'll bring it back. Paolo, welcome, Coast Ally, Drac Ice, Jack o Lantern, Fire Girl, Nicole, Anthony, Jesse James, Cry Cabot. Oh my gosh, so many people. We got Tovar, one of the Joshes. We got Sebi, what's up, what's up? All right, I'm going to cut my cam for this. Ah! Wrong thing! Wrong thing! I am so fucking excited. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. So that's Zelda, if you guys don't know. And the guy with the sword next to her, who we'll be playing as, is Link, if you're not steeped in Zelda knowledge. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Princess of Hyrule. Oh, we actually get to... Oh my gosh, we have a ton of hearts too. And we have the Master Sword right now. Hmm. I never imagined this was all deep beneath Hyrule Castle. But okay. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though seeing it for ourselves or even discussing the matter was forbidden. No one in our family knew anything more than that. I can recall what my father said, even now. No one must enter. No one must ever venture beneath the castle, not even one of us. He said this warning had been passed down through my family for as long as he could remember. <clears throat> uh, okay. Any more? We need to continue to explore this underground area, forbidden or not. The source of the gloom is down here somewhere. So if uh, I know there were a lot of people when I said I was going to do Zelda who in my audience who said that they didn't really know anything about Zelda or had played. If you don't know Link, the uh, main character that we play as, he's silent, so he's not going to talk at all. Hello. People have been falling ill. After coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going. With it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Let's go solve this mystery. Interesting. So people are getting sick after coming into contact with some stuff that's seeping up from underneath Hyrule Castle. Uh, hey, what's up, Junior? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I don't know if I said hi to the hate Sephora. Welcome, ES. Welcome, Tyler. 
Hope you guys are all doing good. Jackie O'Lantern, welcome. Jackie O'Lantern's channel membership renewed too. I don't know if I acknowledge that. Jackie O'Lantern, thank you for the extra support. Appreciate it. Jesse said, no, he's not silent. He makes grunting sounds. I count that as pretty silent. <laughs> You're talking about links. Okay, I'm sick, so I'm not going to be able to do it. But you're talking about the... Hah, hah, hah. That's what you're talking about, right? I can't believe my throat let me do that. Yeah, he also makes some sounds when you fight and stuff. He's like... Hah. Link. That's actually not a bad impression for those that have played Zelda. The Master Sword. Is it glowing? It is glowing. That's not good. It must be sensing something. I knew we had reason for concern. Ever since the end of the calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. Hmm. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. <gasps> we must be careful as we move deeper. Mr. Diamante, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Am I feeling better? I am feeling better. Uh, I was able to get out of bed and do stuff today. So yeah, uh, but my voice is still shit. My throat's kind of bothering me some, so. Jesse said I thought that was a great impression. Yeah, it wasn't bad, especially for uh, sick nasally skilly, right? I actually do do a pretty good Link noises impression, uh, especially when I'm not sick. Link, look here. Say what? Hmm. These ruins are from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? All right, Zonai is something new to Zelda. Never heard of it before. <clears throat> Fire girl, I see your message. I don't know why Stream Elements deleted it. The, the auto mod bot deleted it for some reason, but don't worry about it. You're fine. These carvings, I'm sure they're Zodai in origin. I've seen designs like this in my studies. The Zodai are said to have lived long ago in the time of earliest legend. They possess godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. Many history books tell us about the Zodai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. If you say so. <laughs> Jack o Lantern said, Hey, listen! For Zelda fans, that's Navi from uh <laughs> from Ocarina of Time. Is this what the Zodai looked like? They seem so different than us, and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? It looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. <clears throat> Look. God, guys, I really don't know how long my voice is going to hold out. I've been like not talking the past three days because my throat hurts so much and I wanted to get back as soon as possible. Hey, what's up, Misty? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Spry Brown, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. <laughs> Man, you know what? This stream is probably the first stream a lot of people are going to see of mine because it's Zelda, so it's going to bring in new people. And uh, I'm going to sound like fucking shit. <laughs> You're not hurt, are you, Link? No, I'm, I got the Master Sword, Zelda. This is like beefcaked up Link. Look at these murals. <sighs> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. The Demon King is Ganon! We're fucked! Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? 
This is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. Those are Hylians. <laughs> Hylians are the inhabitants of Hyrule. That the Zonai descended from the heavens. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure... He seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. That's Ganon. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the demon king. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the demon king, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Clink! This is a huge discovery. All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. Oh. Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. So, <clears throat> if you guys are familiar with Zelda at all, the timeline's all over the place, but in Breath of the Wild, there was, uh, before the game, there was an imprisoning war, and the Demon King, which is Ganon, Ganondorf, he was imprisoned in Hyrule Castle, uh, basically by Zelda. Um, <clears throat> and, um, I'm glossing over a lot of stuff here, okay? Simplifying. And I guess, uh, but there wasn't much known about the time before he was imprisoned, and I guess these murals are depicting that. Um, Crycabot with the $2 donut said, get something to eat or drink to soothe your throat. So <laughs> I promise, guys, I'm taking care of myself. Uh, because I have an immune system thing, I have like a whole team of fucking doctors. I take in like, it's like a 15 minute ritual every eight hours, like the antibiotics, all the other medicines I'm on and stuff. So I'm good, I promise. I'm taking honey, I'm taking vitamin C. I'm doing everything I can, I promise. <laughs> this uh, black and uh, reddish tinged fog or smoke that we're seeing is reminiscent of uh, Ganon. So this is not good. Let's see if Zelda has anything to say. Uh -huh. I can't tell you how excited I am. The murals down here, their images support so much of what historians have written about. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> oh, the music is getting fucky wucky. You guys will have to let me know how the volume is, okay? I'm actually gonna crank it down just a couple. You let me know though if it's if it's too loud, too low. <clears throat> I did not have time to test everything since I've been sick. Oh, that'll look good. What is this place?
Let's continue, Link, but we must be careful. What is that? All right, that <clears throat> that looks like Ganon. <laughs> Ganon. I'm not a hundred percent. Okay, um, <laughs> for those that are Zelda fans, you probably know this. For those that aren't, really quick, the Master Sword is, like, the most powerful sword, this mystical, magical, like, all-powerful thing, weapon that Link uses, and, uh, I've, I don't think it's ever been broken before, so that was really unsettling that it got shattered like that. Oh, you know, our hand just got eaten by some uh, demonic Link, red force. Awake.
I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Who is this talking? Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Well, we're definitely going to need the Master Sword hilt. <laughs> um, so I guess it looks like this game is picking up at the end of Breath of the Wild. And uh, Zelda and I explored underneath to find out why people were getting sick in Hyrule. And we uncovered this. And now that's the explanation for Link basically starting back over and not being as powerful as he was at the end of the last game. But holy shit, that was uh, that was a sequence of events. Holy crap. <clears throat> um whatever that zombie corpse thing was if it was ganon or something else uh fired uh a bunch of like demon mist at him and it overtook his arm decayed master sword the sword that seals the darkness its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom beneath hyrule castle oh my god my voice <clears throat> Oh no, in the cutscene, yeah, it definitely happened in the cutscene. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> the green is our stamina bar. For those that don't know. It was a Breath of the Wild. What is this? Whoa. Is that a teleporter of some kind? Interesting. Oh, it's like a save. Crouching increases your stealth, making it easier to sneak up on foes and enemies. Yes. Huh? 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 Cry Cabot with the $2 super chat said, money is on that being demise from Skyward Sword. You might be right. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. That's a decent theory. It's not bad. I recently played Skyward Sword, the uh, HD version re-release on Switch. Okay. <laughs> Can I grab onto this? Hold on. We're going to test this out. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I did the wrong. I'm going to do that so much because I haven't played Switch in a while. The Switch buttons are backwards so like jump is actually x instead of a or b oh no it's like i can't make it when do we get our armor back i don't know we'll have to find it probably okay come on skilly you guys think there's anything up there Oh yeah, there's de there's definitely something up there, right? It's fucking Zelda. We might not be able to do it yet, though. Okay, yeah, there's there's no way. Cannot grab onto that right now. <laughs> oh man. Why do you want me to say moist, whirl, or thrust? What? <laughs> jump huh. 
Can I dive underwater? Maybe not yet. Oh yeah, that's right. B is the run. I always forget that. I'm getting I'm getting used to the movement again. Landing in water, even from a great height, will prevent you from taking fall damage. Yes, yes. Very good. Only because I sound different? Yeah, because I'm, I'm still sick. Fucking sick. Archaic legwear. Simple, classic legwear. They're well-worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It could be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. All right, let's put it on. Fuck it. Look at me. Yes. I know how to open my inventory. I do remember that. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Am I supposed to be going over here? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Just don't forget air. I don't know how to dive yet. I was pressing all the buttons and it wasn't letting me. So I don't know if that's like we need like some of the special Zelda items. If you guys are familiar with Zelda to be able to do it or what. But uh, we'll figure it out eventually. Is there anything up here? Nope. Can't jump that far, but whoa. Ooh, that's a nice move. Hell yeah. Misty said, don't forget air. I will try. <laughs> I will try not to. If we go underwater, there will be an air meter. Oh, holy shit, yo. Dude. Okay, hold on. Before we jump. <laughs> Before we take the leap and kick it back. Can I not climb this? Oh, no, I can't climb that stuff. Oh my god. Okay, water. Aim for the water! Aim for the water! So pretty. I can't. This is a cutscene. I can't backflip. What's up, Kara? Whoa. You might be seeing all the islands. Look at the look at the fucking dragon. You guys see the dragon? Do you see it? They had stuff like that in Breath of the Wild. Oh my god, look at it. You can fight those things. You can get on them. We will be able to do that at some point. We we do I guarantee you we are not equipped or or kitted out yet to be able to do that, but we will get to fight there are multiple of those things in this game, I promise. There has to be, because there was multiple in Breath of the Wild. And if we're already seeing them, then there's multiple here. Uh, so if you guys, those of you who aren't familiar with Zelda or are familiar with Breath of the Wild, uh, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, both massive open worlds. Tears of the Kingdom supposedly takes it even a step further, because not only do you have the, the Sky Islands that we're on right now, but we have the Kingdom of Hyrule below. So this is going to be fucking awesome, dude. I want to go up there. Uh, maybe we should just continue with like the main mission though right now. It's a pretty game. Excuse me? 
Hey. Okay. All right. Master Sword is running low on energy? Any attack that causes your weapon to break becomes a critical two times dealing damage. I'm out. My, my Master Sword broke. It ran out of energy. How do I fight this guy? I don't have a weapon. Get away from me, sir. All right, an apple that restores my health. Get, dude. Ooh, a branch. All right, this is like the most basic of weapons, but here we go. Oh, I'm gonna beat this guy with a fucking stick. All right, he had another stick. Okay. <laughs> a Zonai charge, a material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. It's strange light seems to reveal potent energy inside. That's new. I have no idea what that is. Soldier construct horde, a blade like horde from a soldier construct. It's very sharp, so handle with care. Ooh, is that a weapon? Eat or hold? What? All right, we need some equipment, like bad, bro. What is that? Ooh, a wooden stick is better than a tree branch. <laughs> All right, so yeah, we can select the different weapons we have available. We could go through them like this. Okay, well, we'll use up our tree branch first. Okay, I'm guessing I don't have whatever item I need for here. Zelda's all about progress. It's going to start out slow. The weapons and every the armor, all that stuff is going to get progressively more cool. So, and the enemies, there's going to be a ton of enemies. Here's another one. Is this an enemy? What is this? What are you? Excuse me? What is this? You're kind of scary. Uh, steward construct, Linga, I have waited for you. Princess Zelda left something for you in my care. Oh, it's her camera thing that she was using. This is the uh, pure iPad. I am told it is an invaluable tool that will provide you with direction. Okay. Link is in a kilt right now. So kind of like the Sheikah slate from Breath of the Wild for those that played. Princess Zelda's prized device. It has a variety of features that are essential for adventure. All right. That's our map. This is just the Sky Islands. This is not the entire map. The entire map would be everything I just zoomed out on. <laughs> so, all right. What else do we have? An adventure log? Find Princess Zelda. You found yourself on a strange island in the sky after you awoke. A steward construct claimed that Princess Zelda gave, her, gave it her Pura Pad all to get it into your hands. The device's map shows a yellow point of light. The construct said that's where you'll find the princess. But okay. We can take pictures with it. These are the pictures that Zelda took. Interesting. All right. That's a switch? Yeah, it pretty much is. <laughs> I received it from Princess Zelda. I have now passed it on to you. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on its map. My message has been delivered. Where am I? We stand in the Garden of Time. Interesting. The Temple of Time is visible from here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. But no more. Now it is a lonely place no one visits. Okay. Ooh, I could use my zombie arm there. Find Princess Zelda. Okay. This is the Garden of Time. My records indicate that Princess Zelda is waiting at the location marked on the map found in the pad. Garden of Time? Yes, this is the Garden of Time. The structure visible to the north is the Temple of Time. Ooh! Guys, anybody play Ocarina of Time? Temple of Time? Right? Some callbacks. Some callbacks going on here. It was used in the distant past. Many rites and ceremonies of the kingdom were held there. Now it's a lonely place no one visits. Apologies, I cannot help but reminisce. 
Head to the indicated location. Take care as you do so. Um, okay. Do you have anything new? Anything else? But yeah, yeah, I know. Goodbye. Yep. What does this do? Start a bridge? Okay. So I'm guessing that my arm thing is like a Zodai construct. Or like some piece of Zodai technology, maybe. I'm gonna climb this tree, get some apples. There's also cooking and recipes in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, just like Breath of the Wild. Uh, another wooden stick? Okay. Hello, you seem to be new here. Do you intend to use that as a weapon against the soldier constructs? Soldier constructs? Are those of us given strict orders to protect this land? The Zodai who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. They will consider you a trespasser. You must treat them as a serious threat. Allow me to offer unsolicited advice. It is crucial to maintain a proper swing distance, a proper distance and target your opponents. Swinging haphazardly will not yield results. Press and hold ZL. Okay. You may practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but please do not actually attack. <laughs> What happens if I actually attack? Oops. Your behavior is a threat. <laughs> I must protect myself. <laughs> okay, I'll stop picking on her. That was mean. She was being nice. What happens if I throw a pot at you? Oh, my behavior is a threat? Okay. I mean, that kind of makes sense. If someone threw a pot at me, I would be upset too. So, I understand. What is this? Jumping to the next island? I'm not ready yet. There's gotta be some other stuff here. I wanna climb up all that stuff. Hey, what's up, Major Shake? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. I hope you're doing good. No, no. Get down. Almost everything, and if you guys aren't familiar with Breath of the Wild or you did play, you should know almost everything is climbable. You're only limited by your stamina, right? A sky shroom! Guys, we get to eat mushrooms in the game. It's gonna be pretty dope. We're gonna make a mushroom skewer whenever we get to our first cooking pot. Delicious. Really good for your stamina. Hold on. Ah! Crack habit, you're right. They did mention uh, Ryu. He was the Sage of Light. Uh, one of the three sages from the beginning of time in Zelda lore. You are correct. <clears throat> I don't know what that means for the story, but yes. They did mention it. There's got to be something up here, right? Like a chest or something somewhere? Crack habit said the one you met in the Temple of Time. Uh, I think so, yeah. I can't remember what I had for breakfast. So, unless something triggers my memory. You're talking about the one you meet in the Temple of Time at Ocarina of Time? I think so. I think so, yeah. So Zelda's all about exploring, especially Breath of the Wild. So hopefully you guys don't find this boring, but I love, I love Zelda. So most Zelda games have like an opening area that's not limited, but like it's not the same as like the real part of the world. And I'm thinking these sky islands are kind of like that. It's more like a tutorial area almost. 
where you're meant to get some initial first upgrades and stuff and like learn game mechanics and then you move into the actual like meat of the game okay nothing here This is basically Geshen Impact, but for Zelda, yeah. Zelda's been around a lot longer than Geshen Impact, though, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I landed on the lily pad. That was dope, dude. Did you see the water rain back down? Did you guys see that? So I landed so high, it splashed water up, and then it rained back down. That is so fucking cool. That was really cool. That... That's a very, like, that's attention to detail. Oh my God, that was beautiful. Hey, what's up, Vulgen? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, onwards and forward, I guess. We're going to jump off of this island to the next one. Can you fish? Yes. I mean, we haven't unlocked the ability yet, but yes, uh, in Breath of the Wild, you could fish. And so you're supposed to be able to do everything you could in Breath of the Wild. Just they've added stuff. Here's a Speaking of fish, we call it a hot-footed frog. That's not a fish, but yeah. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out a speed boost effect. Hell yeah, dude. But yes, you can fish. Very foggy. Ooh, mysterious. Thomas, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Goober, is Yeti around too? I hope Yeti's doing good, Goober. I hope you guys are both good. Oh man, I need like a bow and arrow so I can shoot those birds and get the meat. I need my first bow. I don't have anything to get them right now. M Shadow just subscribed to the channel. M Shadow, thanks for subbing. I appreciate it. So this looks like it's leading me to something. You guys will have to forgive me, too. I'm probably going to be a little bit off by game because I'm not 100% yet. I'm having to take long pauses between sentences because... Ooh, we got an arrow. Yeah! Uh, because of my voice. What's that? Search? A Zodai charge. Okay. So are those, like, batteries, I guess, for Zonai devices? Is that, is that what I'm, I feel like that's what I'm kind of being led to believe here. Get some more sky shrooms. You could never have enough mushrooms, right? You're asking were there names for the bows? Uh, each bow had a name in, uh, Breath of the Wild, but there's not like a bow equivalent of the Master Sword, if that's what you're thinking of. Spicy peppers, yeah, man. Huber said Yeti is preparing for D&D. &D. He's doing much better. Oh, that's awesome. I'm glad to hear he's doing better. D&D, &D, that sounds fun. Anybody home? Nope. Okay, I think I'm supposed to keep going up the path, right? Ooh, ooh, is it a cooking pot? Oh, I'm gonna have to kill that thing, though. I wanna cook some food. Oh, he's got a sword. If we could kill him... And take his sword. 
Ah! Oh, <laughs> ouch. Uh, let's use our shitty tree branches up. Oh, no, he had a wooden stick? Come on, man. Give me a real weapon. <laughs> it's a cooking pot. Oh, I, shit. I set my tree branch on fire. Ah, fuck. Put it out. Put it out. Put it away. I need all the tree branches I could get. Fuck. So that was a trick. You could set you, some of your weapons, your wood ones and stuff, right? In Breath of the Wild. But you could set them on fire. You could use them as torches or lights. Uh, or you could use them to hit enemies, right? And set them on fire, too. But uh, it eventually, like makes that weapon fall apart so but the trick was you could go back in your inventory and switch weapons and it won't be on fire any fucking anymore just get the get rid of the weapons can i cook please this is a cooking pot i want to cook ah uh, is somebody gonna have to teach me about cooking again did i take too many hits to the head and i don't remember how to fucking cook Fine. Somebody must have to teach me about cooking. Or wait. Hold on. <laughs> I got Link holding a bunch of apples. Hold on a sec. <laughs> yes, I can cook. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I forgot. I forgot how to cook for a minute. I just made simmered fruit. Fuck yeah, dude. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let's try an apple, a couple spicy peppers, and uh, a mushroom, couple mushrooms. Let's see what that makes. Huh? Cold resistance, six minutes and 30 seconds. Ooh, spicy simmered fruit. Let's grow. Let's, let's grow. Let's go. All right, let's do that again, because we might actually need that. <laughs> a couple spicy peppers, right? A couple mushrooms. All right, let's see if we do all shrooms. What does that give us? A mushroom skewer? Skewer? Sorry. Skewer? The hell's wrong with me? <laughs> yes, mushroom skewer. So same as the last game. Okay. That's actually perfect because I only have three hearts right now. All right, let's try cooking the frog. The frog, spicy pepper. Let's do... This is a bunch of random ass ingredients. Let's do it. Ooh, that one turned out bad. Dubious food. I like how... You, this, so the same thing happened in Breath of the Wild. If you cooked a dish that wasn't good, it yeah, it would come out like this and it would have the pixelated thing and it would be like, yeah, it's too gross. It still helps you, but it's disgusting and it doesn't it doesn't do that much. That's great. Uh, Dracus asks, is that a Zelda shirt of this game? It's not. It's a Breath of the Wild shirt. I don't have a Tears of the Kingdom shirt here. I'll back up a sec so everybody can see it. It's going to be awkward. I'm going to have to like lean back some, I think, just because of the camera angle, but hold on. Yeah, it's Breath of the Wild. But I thought, you know, I'm playing Zelda, so I gotta wear it. I'm actually gonna eat uh, a couple spicy peppers so that my health is all the way back up. Alright, and now we have a bunch of cooked food over here. Which will be good in case we get into fights. All right, I just forgot for a minute that you had to put all the food items. What the fuck are those? Look at those birds. So you guys see down there the temperature gauge? It says Fahrenheit. I know some of you are probably uh, Celsius gang, right? But that's the temperature. The blue is cold. The red is hot. If you get too cold or too hot, Link will certain things affect Link differently. You can also see that blue light. And as I move around, it gets all wiggly. That's how much noise I'm making stealth wise.
What are you? What are you, you fucking flightless bird, bitch? Oh, I forgot. I, I put my weapons away. Come here. I want to. I need some bird meat. <laughs> Come here. Come here. God damn it. You're too fast. I don't have enough stamina. We will be able to upgrade Link's stamina gauge some eventually. Um, which way am I supposed to go? Can I actually get up to this thing? Maybe there's a chest up there. Oh, all right. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> oh, no. Gosh, darn it. Can I let's try it. I don't think this is going to work. Link's war on the emus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys, so after stream tonight, if you guys haven't watched it or tomorrow, when it, whatever works for you guys, uh, IGP put out a video that he and I, fuck, I can't get up there now, uh, that he and I recorded together and I talked about the Australian emu war in it. IGP didn't know about it. I felt like I needed to tell him about it. <gasps> can I, I can push these rocks, right? <laughs> Over on these guys. <laughs> yeah, baby! A long stick. <laughs> oh, guys, we are rolling in the weapons. <laughs> oh, man. Wooden stick. Uh, I can throw a weapon. Yep. So let's try that out with this. Take this out. <laughs> Press and hold R. And then you can retrieve it. Okay. Because you can get... There's all kinds of different weapons. They're just easing us into this. Hello? Come get me, bro. These guys are pretty easy. Co Sally, you were laughing so hard. Yeah. I did play up the. I read. It, when I found out about it, I read extensively about the Emu War. I didn't lie about anything that I said. I did play it up a little. It wasn't like the army sent in like a whole battalion of people. Um, it, it was just like a small, uh, like a small group with a couple support staff. And uh, it just turned out to not be cost effective, I think, for them to fight the emus because emus are actually really hard to kill. <laughs> Surprisingly, they're also really fast and agile. So. Steward construct. Ah, I roasted that, but it is yours if you want. You roast them? Oh, I had not noticed before that you were unfamiliar to me. My apologies. Among my tasks is to explain anything that visitors might require knowledge of. You may have questions about this place. Please rest assured that a construct can answer them. I recall that your question was about roasting food. I roast ingredients by placing them beside the fire. I do not eat, but I am given to understand that it improves the taste. Our creators roasted ingredients in order to enhance their nutritional value. Do you have ingredients? I invite you to use this fire to roast them. I have already roasted stuff, bro. Already cooked. But I will take these apples. Thank you. And this mushroom. <laughs> hey, what's up, Steven? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you again, man. All right. I think we're making progress. Yo. For a Switch game, this game is pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> Jack, you lantern. Yeah, you're right. That's it. They were just firing machine guns and 50 cows at them. Spending a bunch of money on ammo per emu. Yeah. Okay, great. He has a shield. This is going to be a problem. 
Ouch. He actually has a proper wooden sword too, it looks like. Let's use our long stick. Did he drop his weapon? No. Shit. Sometimes when enemies knock, when you knock enemies down, they'll drop their weapon. There we go. Got him to drop it. Rusty broadsword. This one's fearsome sword has seen better days. It can do some damage in the right hands, but it'll break quickly. Old wooden shield. Yeah, baby. Press and hold ZL. Yes, 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 yes. All right, we got our shield equipped. I just threw it at him like a spear. It broke it, but that's okay. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Thanks for the sword, dude. Finally, we have a sword, even though it's a shitty one. Hey, what's up, John? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Hope you're doing good. Nico, what's up? Welcome, welcome. Making some progress. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle you. But excuse me, who are you? It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. He's a Zonai. I am Raru. Yep. Raru, source of the right arm. He's the Sage of Light. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. Ah, of course. Why not visit the shrines on this island? Shrines. Yes, I am sure they are the key. Hey, what's up, Arrow? Thanks for joining, man. Hope you're doing good. The closed door. All right. Open your adventure log. Yeah, we are still basically in tutorial mode right now. <clears throat> when you tried to open the door to the Temple of Time, Raru appeared and said he was the original owner of your new arm. He also said you need to revitalize the arm so the power of its touch will open the door. To do that, visit the island shrides. A green light spirals above each of them. But okay. Is he gonna start saying, hey, listen? I hope not. <laughs> But oh, he has a bow. I need a bow, dude. Get your butt here. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a no good. Beat you with my stick. Old wooden bow. Yes. Oh. Oh. We are making progress, man. We got five arrows, too, from him. All right. Where are my bows again? What button? Oh, that's to call my horse, but I don't have a horse. There we go. Okay. 
No, but put the bow away for right now. All right. Oh, you know what? Hold on, though. I do I don't want to get the bow out there we go can I hit him in his red eye like the guardians kill him in one hit or do a lot of damage in one hit I wonder I want to try it So that shrine was over here, right? Yeah. Did Breath of the Wild have voice acting too? It did. Breath of the Wild was, I think, the first Zelda game to have voice acting. Yeah. Most Zelda games do not have voice acting or they're silent. <laughs> there might be one, another one that had one. I'm not sure. But yeah, Breath of the Wild was the first big mainline game. What's up, Zach? What's up, Knight Rider? Thank you both for joining. Knight Rider, I think you've been here for a bit. I just didn't say hi. Sorry about that. Oh, man, I wish I could make that jump <laughs> right now, but I can't. Shine, Uko, Shrine. Interesting. All right, we made it. When is Pokemon going to have voice acting? I don't know. Probably never. They haven't been. I mean, the last couple entries, they've updated a, a few big things, but they're usually slow to innovate in Pokemon. Oh, it's like an actual shrine. Okay, holy shit. Loading screen. All right. What's up, Ryland? Oh. Ray Rayland, right? Sorry. What's up, Rayland? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Autumn, welcome, welcome. I don't know if I said hi before, Autumn. I know you've been here though, some. So you've made it here. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has lost. Now then, extend your hand. Ooh, tingly. Ultra hands. Dude, what a name. I love it. What a, what a Japanese name for an ability. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Okay. Mm. This is the ultra hand ability. It allows you to move objects freely and attach them to other objects. With it, you will be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Mm. Use Ultra Hand and receive the blessing from the shrine. Um, okay. Whatever you say. All right. So these are like the shrines from the first game. Hey, I did hear... Shit. What did I do? Okay. Whew. 
for those who played Breath of the Wild and were Breath of the Wild, great game, right? But I was a little disappointed that there weren't Zelda like dungeons. But uh, I have heard that apparently they have returned in Tears of the Kingdom. And supposedly, um, there are not just only shrines like this, but there are. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> there are dungeons in this game as well so like old school like ocarina of time like fire dungeon temple dungeon i don't know that they're elements nobody ruin it if you know but along that vein right so i'm really excited about that usually they like to hide chests in uh in these shrines so okay i see this one is not long enough so hold on Oh no, I fu <laughs> fucked up, dude. I fucked up. Hey, Autumn just tipped $10 and said, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Thank for, thanks for streaming as always. Hey, Autumn, thank you for the $10 tip via stream elements. I appreciate that. That helps me out a bunch. So thank you, thank you. And I, I appreciate the well wishes too. So the key here, right, is to set this one down so that it's pretty far, but that it doesn't tip and fall over, right? Like that? Fuck. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, this is delicate. Okay. Attach? Oh, I can like actually attach. What? <laughs> Now they're one piece. Yo, bro, this is what? This is so cool. There we go. That's a lot easier. I didn't know. I wasn't paying attention to the props. I could like glue them together with uh, green sticky stuff. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, Josh G? Welcome to the stream. I think you might have been here for a bit, too. I just didn't get a chance to say hi. Hope you're doing good, man. All right, hold on. There's a puzzle here. No, that, that that's the wrong way. Come on, man. 
No, don't attach. Why? Stop. Unattach. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> unstick. Okay, we can unstick. All right, hold on. <laughs> All right, you know what? Hold on. Get this wood out of here. You're in the way. You're in the way. Stop sticking on stuff, sir. All right. We need a little rotation. There we go. That's, that's kind of like it, right? Not really. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? There's a wooden platform. It looks like going on those to get over there. Okay, hold on. Let's fix this. I think I, <laughs> I think I still royally fucked this up. Unstick. Ugh. No. All right, come on. There we go. How is that not right? That's right, right? Hmm. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You feel bad for laughing? No, you don't need to feel bad for laughing. I'm having fun. If you're laughing, that's good. Am I supposed to like get rid of that? Does that make me do something? No. I feel like there's a trick here. Ooh, that's a... Uh... Okay. <laughs> that's not good. Uh, oh, I can. Can I actually grab these? Do what? Oh, let's glue them together. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's like kind of not letting me. <laughs> I don't think I don't think I'm supposed to do that. I, I really that thing is floating. What is happening? Oh, okay. All right, so hold on. Let's watch that again. My poor skilly brain. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Uh, I feel like I should put you more in the center. I gotta be honest. Otherwise, we're gonna have a very... We're gonna have a very uneven ride, right? Or should I put two hooks on just to be safe? You know what? Let's make this the sturdiest... This is probably unnecessary, but let's make this the sturdiest fucking ride that we can. Those two balls can stay stuck together for all I care. Right? Uh... <laughs> what have I done wrong? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Is it too heavy, maybe? It actually needs to be in the center. Huh. 
<laughs> there we go. Yay! I was trying to make it too hard. Whee! Is there a chest back here first? Nope. How do we get to that, though? There's obviously something. Huh. Ooh, that's a log drop. I should have... I should have climbed up the wall. Is it even possible to climb these walls? Hold on. No. So that was just an example? Maybe? I don't know. Okay. You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Tingle, tingle. Misty, they all got taken away. Uh, because whatever that zombie, Ganon, Demon King, whatever that thing was that attacked us in the beginning, he like zapped all of our strength. Light of Blessing, a crystal that glows with a light that purges ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Okay. Restored my hearts. May the Light of Blessing grant you the strength you seek. <clears throat> I'm going to be teleported out of here. You did very well getting through that shrine and you've restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines, you should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. The Pura Pad offers you a very useful scope. It's quite handy. But okay. All right, press R, press A to place a pen. All right, good shit. All right, we need to find two more shrines. One. Wait, hold on. Oh, I see another one. Is there more than two up here, though, potentially? Can't tell. <laughs> I don't see any more right now. Uh, We should go to this one down here, right? It looks way easier to get to. I love how when you jumped out into water, it splashes up and rains back down. I'm sorry. That's so... The number of games that don't do that. <laughs> I love it. A bunch of arrows just laying here. Holy shit.
yeah i meant to i'll still do this for you guys too i meant to put a playlist a playlist a playlist together this week of like just there's like two or three videos that i think are really good at recapping breath of the wild they're fairly short like 10 minutes or under and there's a really good like 45 minute video if you're new to zelda it gives you like a quick rundown and lore history of like the 20 plus games in the zelda franchise not that you have to read those or see those to enjoy the game or enjoy watching me play it but uh i thought it might be fun just to have that available to you guys if anybody was interested in uh in doing that and so i um but i didn't get to because i was sick so i'm still gonna put that playlist together though and i'll share it with you guys when i have it <clears throat> no or how do i uh, uh. Nope, wrong button. <laughs> Holy shit, that's not, it literally sticks it in the exact way that you have it. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, can I not get this right? There we go. God damn, dude. I said I want this game. Oh, it's a fantastic game. Dude, if you if you like this so far, you would really enjoy Breath of the Wild too. Breath of the Wild is great. What is uh what is he doing here? Oh. Hmm. Sorry, my voice needed a rest. So he's surprised that the constructs are still working. I'm troubled by the sight of the constructs we created. They still strive to fulfill their purpose, even when anyone who would have benefit is gone. Hmm. To see them toil away still, it grieves me. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. We're going to need these Zodai charges for something. Wait. Ah, drop it. It'll break. Nope. There we go. What am I supposed to do with these? Hold on. Is this a puzzle? I think I see what I'm supposed to do. Wait. Huh. Am I actually supposed to do this? Like rebuild a tree? This guy's like chopping down the trees and I'm gonna I'm gonna glue them back together. My bad, bro. My bad. I got wood. 
This means we can make a fire anywhere. There's actually an axe here too. Sweet. <laughs> oh man. Those poor guys. Can I pick the constructs up with my hand ability? Oh no. Damn it. <laughs> like pick them up and carry them around as they're screaming. Oh, you know what though? Hold on. This is a little raft. Dude. Somebody made a raft. What a dope idea. Like you can make things. I get it now. The game's trying to teach you. It's like, oh, hey, you can put things together. Dude. This was, you had a mechanic in Breath of the Wild where you could, uh, you could pick things up like this. It was a different mechanic though, but you did not have a mechanic to stick things together like this. This is really fucking dope. Kind of. All right, hold on. This is really cool. I want to build super also <laughs> chopping down trees, baby. Oh, that only net me one piece of wood. It did. Holy shit. All right. So I'll need to chop down another one then. Korok fraud. We could use these to kind of float. Bridge review. Yes. Thomas just tipped $15 via stream elements. Hey, Thomas, welcome to the stream, dude. Glad to have you. Thomas said, Hey, Skilly, hope you and the family are feeling better. Just pop it in. I don't want to spoil the game for myself. Have a good night, everyone. Hey, thanks, Thomas, for dropping by and support. I appreciate it, man. Appreciate the dodo, too. Take care, dude. Family is doing really good and I'm starting to I'm starting to get there, so that's good. But thank you. No, no, no. Get me out of here. Alright. We made our own little bridge. Not that I had to do every piece, but I wanted to. That is cool, dude. We can build stuff. Misty said, I wonder what kind of stuff people would craft to build in this. Uh, so in some of the trailers, uh, there was some pretty crazy shit, it looked like. So, what is this? What is this? This is like a, what the? F okay, I could climb it. What is this for? This is so big. Hmm. Okay, hold on. How do I... What happens if I... It floats? But excuse me? Say what? 
Hit. Dude. I don't know what kind of magic technology that shit is, but holy hell. Suddenly Minecraft Steve shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is tight. These, this is new. There was not really building in the other Zelda game, uh, in the other Breath of the Wild. So this is really cool. Amber. Okay. I'm guessing that Amber is going to be important. It's valued as a component in decorations and crafting. Okay. Oh, I should. Oh, my God, I should save. Although the game auto saves at certain points, I believe, but still. Should have saved a long time ago. Yo, the Temple of Time looks dope, dude. I could get lost to this game so easy already. Oh, okay. You're you're good. I'm sorry. Hey, it's another bow. Oops. I didn't mean to throw my stick. So we have two old, old wooden bows for when one breaks down. What's up, Shh, quiet? I'm engaged in hunting. Hunting? Yes, I hunt wild creatures that inhabit the forest. Hmm, I do not remember seeing you here before. We constructs fulfill several roles. One is to provide any necessary explanations to newcomers such as yourself. Other constructs you meet will be able to answer questions you may have about other subjects. My specialty is hunting. To hunt is to dispatch wild creatures. Many of them dwell within this forest. They are highly nutritious to organic life. They are also extremely wary. A hunter must not make noise. Crouching is essential for silence. Yep. A bow can be used to strike from afar. Aiming for weak spots is best. I'll give you the bow placed over there. Use it as you please. Time has passed while I hunted. I seem to have failed to hear the time bell. I will rest now. Let me know if I am needed, but do so quietly. Dude. Let's try to kill. Let's try to get some meat. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Oh yeah, raw meat. You eat it raw. You can eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. Oh god, he's freaked out. <laughs> That bird is like, fuck this shit, bro. What is that thing doing, man? It's fucking crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no, I spooked it. At least I have a switch map. Yeah. Ooh, looks like I can get my arrow back that I missed. Way too many air. Whoa! Hey, ex excuse me, bitch. Oh shit! Come here! Come here, you long-haired emu freak! <laughs> oh yeah! Give me all your meat. <laughs> They're here for the eggs, Frank. All right. I'm supposed to be going to this shrine, but I'm already sidetracking. Side uh, tracking myself. Stamp bulb, a wild plant with bulging roots often found in cooler climates. It contains nutrients that increase endurance. Cook it to restore stamina. Okay. Oh, 
shit. Good thing that was not a far fall. I've only got three hearts, so any any major fall is probably gonna kill me. What's up? You're gonna teach me about cooking? My next batch will also be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. Hmm, I do not recall having seen you before today. I must doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. It is the duty of a construct to field any questions that those such as yourself may have. You may pose these questions to any construct. We will answer them as best we can. Are you interested in cooking? Sure. Ah, you seem to be uneducated when it comes to cooking. Very well. You will learn how to create a meal on your own. Educate me. Cooking step one, hold the ingredients in your arms. Step two, throw them into a pot over a lit fire. Cooking complete. That is the simple version. The world of cooking can be as complex as you want. There are many possible dishes. What you make and what effect you gain depends on the ingredients used. Some meals are warming, others replenish stamina. Tiny organisms known as critters and monster parts are not food. Save them as the base for elixirs. This information was provided by our creators, but I cannot eat, so take it with a grain of salt. Food joke. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we're main station here. Ask me anytime you have further questions about cooking. Oh dear, it is already late. I was too absorbed in cooking to notice. I'll rest until the next time bell. Do not let that dissuade you if you have questions. I love the idea that the only thing you have to do is put a bunch of food in your arms and just throw it into a pot. And boom, you have food, right? Like that's the best. Oh man. Let's, uh, a couple pieces of meat, couple mushrooms, and a spicy pepper. Let's see what happens. Hey, what's up, Bleeding Hog? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Holy shit, guys. That restores nine hearts and does, uh, four minutes and 30 seconds of cold resistance. A spicy pepper steak. Sounds delicious, too. Uh, a rush shroom. All right, let's do a couple of, uh, one of these. A couple regular mushrooms, piece of meat, right? And let's throw in that, uh, let's throw in that stamp bulb there. Hey, what's up, A2? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Glad to see you. Mushroom skewer, okay. I had some meat in there, though. For real, bruh? For real? Oh, well, let's just do... We gotta figure out all these, just... One piece of meat and some mushroom. Oh yeah, I gotta show you. All right, we gotta do that one more time. You got, you guys have to see. I forgot about that. You have to see Link's face the whole time it's cooking. He's like so excited. I love it. See, <laughs> it's great. Oh man. All right, let's do our last piece of meat and uh, these. The rest of these mushrooms. <laughs> Speed up. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, nice. All right. We've cooked a bunch of extra food. There's a bunch of mushrooms there, but I'm actually doing really well on food right now. Uh... <laughs> Do you not have any items? Oh no, were you guys, was I supposed to use you guys for something else? No, that's okay. Sometimes these boxes will have items in them, like food or other weapons. Oh yeah. Hold on. Arrows, here we go. Yeah, we got a few arrows back. All right, good shit. What's up, dude? I love this view of the Temple of Time. I always took a moment to appreciate it whenever I passed by here. The Garden of Time was quiet. The only sound to be heard was the Time Bell ringing in mornings and evenings. It was as if the whole place changed its chime, especially at night when the sound signaled the emergence of fireflies. Mm. Those were glorious times. 
Okay. Interesting. I see an emu fuck. I could have caught whatever that animal was. That butterfly or bug. Oh, I can't carry any any more melee weapons right now. Holy shit. I can catch fireflies, I know that. Nope, 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 nope. You didn't see me. You did not see me, sir. Excuse me? Let's go. I don't know what's up here. The red shrine that I was trying to work towards is actually that way, but let's see what's up here first. Oh, come on. The firefly. Do I have to like be sneaky? You could catch fireflies in Breath of the Wild. Use them in elixirs and four other things. Come on. Yeah! Sunset Firefly. The firefly glows gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that causes it to glow results in an elixir that will allow you to move more quietly. Another bow? A zone I charge. Let's go. Alright, so just a little side. Hyrule is down. What is that? Is that like a crop circle? Down in Hyrule? What? That's weird. Okay. Oh, let's see if we can't catch this firefly. Look at the moon. Hey, what's up, Hannah? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Nice to see you. Yeah, we got him. Oh, can we get this one? He's flying a little high. We might not be able to get him. Uh oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's for damn sure. All right, let's go to this shrine. We got to advance the story. I don't need to explore the tutorial area or the tutorial stuff too much. All right, dude, this fucking guy right here thinks he's hot shit. Gotcha, bitch. I will take your bow. No, don't you be throwing shit at me. Fucking assholes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I need some food, man. So, bitch. Sweet. Defeated all the enemies and then unlocked the chest. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I just I really wanted to play Zelda and I've really wanted it to share share it with those in the community who wanted to see it. So
Yeah. I feel like the Breath of the Wild controls are all, are all coming back to me. So, yeah, the family's doing really good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. The kids and the wife got sick first. So, you know, it's bad when my wife is a, she has a tank of an immune system. She usually doesn't get sick. And even if she does, she usually just feels kind of bad, but she can like power through. She got sick on Tuesday. Well, she started feeling a little rough Monday night, but then on Tuesday, she ran a fever all day. She was so sick. She missed work. She like never misses work. And she just, she was like, I need you to take the kids today. And I was like, yeah. And she, she was in bed all day, like passed out. She was so sick and running such a fever. And then after that, she's, she was able to get up. She still felt kind of rough, you know, the, the couple days after that, but then she kind of bounced back. Uh, I started feeling bad Wednesday night and then Thursday I was just like, dude, I can't Thursday was my day. I was like, dude, I cannot get out of bed. Like I can't. <laughs> and, uh, so I stayed pretty much all day Thursday in bed. And then Friday I was in bed a lot, but I got up and did like a couple things here and there. So <laughs> what is up? It's a Korok. This is awful. Where's my friend? Huh? You can see me? Yes. I'm a Korok. One of the children of the forest. I was traveling with my friend, yeah. but we got separated. Okay. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. So I have to build you something to get you over there. Yeah. Okay. It's a little puzzle. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you have young kids, especially. I mean, you know this, Hannah, because you have kids. It's hard to... <laughs> it's hard to keep... Even if you keep people separated and you Lysol everything and you, you like, hand wash, like, every 30 minutes. It's hard to keep, like, in a house, especially with young kids, to keep everybody from getting sick. It's just really hard. They picked it up from daycare. Strep is going around his daycare, supposedly. So... We need to do this better. There we go. And then we need to do this. No, I need to attach it, like, in the center. That's not really gonna work. <laughs> I sound better than the start of the stream it might be because like i said i hadn't been using my voice that much because i was hoping to be able to stream sooner rather than later but uh yeah i can tell i can tell you my voice is struggling i'll tell you that i don't know i feel like what i hear in my head versus what i normally hear i feel like it sounds i sound really bad but uh like really nasally Okay, I need to get this under or over so that I can then do this. No, 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 don't go yet. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Stay there. Okay. Can I talk to this guy now and ride over there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you can't move. Can I pick you up? I absolutely can. I'm going to attach your ass to this. <laughs> Dude, this is great. Oh my god. I stuck him to this and he was like, "Uh." I love this game, man. Already. Already. A plus. Wait, hold on. I'm going to have to get it started and then jump on. Hey, hey, wait for me. Wait for me. Okay, I'll just hang on. It's okay. Oh, my God. I'm hanging over the void here, bro.
Unstick. There you go. Reunited at last. Thanks. I'd like to give you something, but here's all I have. Korok seed times two. This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gathered a bunch of them, you never know what might happen. Yeah. Bye. So in Breath of the Wild, uh, you could find these little Korok guys hiding. You could find them hiding everywhere. Some of them, it was literally just like, pick up this random rock and there's a Korok under it. And some of them had puzzles like we just did there. Not like build stuff puzzles because that wasn't a thing in the first one, but like different kinds of puzzles to get up and you'd get a Korok seed. There were 999 Korok seeds in Breath of the Wild. So there's a lot of them. They took forever to track down. And uh, they give you these Korok uh, seeds. You find out that that's actually Korok poop. <laughs> but anyway, there's this big Korok guy that you could give them to. We should meet him eventually, hopefully. There's this big Korok guy that you could give them to. And he uh, he gives you you get you get something for them. I don't want to spoil it. I don't know what happens in this game, like what you get, but uh, you get something. So. <laughs> Drakai said, "Skill, you make games look so fun. They should definitely have you to promote them." Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want, uh, pay any attention to Void Trade, but the Void Trade video that IGP, Icy, and I did, they reached out to IGP and asked him if they could use it because he knows the developers, and they actually have that video, or they did, I don't know if it still is, they ran it for a couple of days uh, at, on their Steam page as, like, uh, up at the top, like, as a little stream thing. So that was pretty cool. That was neat. Hold on. Mess this up. All right, so this needs to go on the front. Right, right here. Perfect. That might be the rock. That's the way the wind's blowing, okay. And then we need this. To go in the middle. Perfect. We have made a little wind raft. And then we're going to use it to go down there, I think. But hold on. We're going to check out what's up here first. Greg, I said, oh my God, you're moving up. <laughs> well, yeah, that was mainly because of IGP. That had nothing to do. I just happened to be in his video for it. <laughs> But yeah, but that was pretty cool. That was cool to see. Why did that box not break? Ooh, we got five arrow bundle out of that one. Adriana, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Uh, Hannah said, Lord, such gorgeous graphics. They are for a Switch game, isn't it? Yeah. I'm upscaling it. Uh, using some skilly technique to 1440p because the Switch only outputs uh, 1080p. But uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. We got a we got a wind sail problem here, boss. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to fix this. There we go. Okay, hold on. That did not work the way I planned it. <laughs> All right, the wind isn't really... This is going to be a slow ride. Eee. 
but check this out now we have get off of here i don't need you get away now we have a boat Onwards and forwards. How do I steer this thing? No, seriously, how do I steer it? Do I, am I just at the mercy of the wind? I think so. <laughs> I could have swam over here. Can I, can I use these actually to... Oh, shit. Get back on the boat. Get back on the boat. If you run out of stamina in the water, you drown. Is tonight the first time I've gotten to play? Yes, it is. I was saving it for you guys. So we're just at the start. Okay, the boat is... You take Go that way, please. Okay, fine. <laughs> Fuck you, boat. You're a terrible boat. Uh, the game has been great so far, but we're barely... We have barely scratched the surface. I'll tell you that. Again, I put, I showed you guys at the start of the stream, I put 175 hours into Breath of the Wild. This game is supposed to be bigger. So, we haven't seen anything yet. And I can tell you just based off of some of the stuff that was in Breath of the Wild, like we are, we are basic right now. Give me that chicken boss. Give me that chicken boss, man. Raw bird drumstick. Mmm. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. I'm not confident in my aiming abilities yet to be able to hit that. <laughs> All right, we're getting close to this red shrine, which is where I was supposed to be going. Oh, it's a choo-choo. That's what those things are. They were in uh, Breath of the Wild. Choo-choo jelly. Choo-choo. A gelatinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this state, but applying a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. You hit it with electricity. That's what you need to do. Or fire. Or water. All right, sir. You want some? <laughs> we'll beat your ass. Ooh, a thick stick. <laughs> I can't carry any more melee weapons. Fuck that. Drop this thing. Give me the thick stick. I need a chunky boy. All right. I have another. I can build another raft right here. Let's go do this shrine, though. After I grab these mushrooms. Yeah, boy. Ooh, I don't have bobs yet. There's... Hold on. Hmm. Next shrine, baby. Hold on, I need to grab my other water. Hold on one sec, guys. <sighs> need my aqua. I also... Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. But I also need a throat. Thingy. Hold on. All right. Here we go. It sounds like I'm sucking on something. It's because I am. Don't take that out of context. Don't. I, I'm looking right at you. Okay. Oh. 
So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. Could you not just give me these powers without me having to go through all this rigmarole? <laughs> Wouldn't be much of a game then, would it? Hey, what's up, Head of Lemon? What's up, Bleeding Hog? Thank you both for joining. I hope you're both doing good. Fuse. Attach something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fusion, but that will destroy whatever has been attached. Interesting. Mm. This is the fuse ability. This is also a new ability. This was not in Breath of the Wild. It allows you to fuse something nearby to your weapon or shield, thereby enhancing it. Why not pick up that sword just ahead, then fuse a nearby object to it. Mm. Use fuse and receive the blessing from this shrine. All right, yep, yep. So now, we have fuse. Ooh, that's a big one. Rusty Claymore, a two-handed sword not properly cared for. Although it can be used as a weapon, its durability is very low. Don't expect it to last more for the, than a few strikes. So for those of you that have been playing Zelda games for a while, you probably know this, but just for the uninitiated, which, you know, I like to bring you guys along too. Uh, the rusty weapons, there's actually an enemy in the game, the Oroks. I can throw them at them. They'll eat them and they'll spit them back out and they'll be not rusty anymore and they'll be better. I see exactly what he's saying. <laughs> I put a boulder on my fucking sword and made a club and it gave it plus eight attack. Do you guys see this, Dad? Oh, dude, this is so fucking cool. This is so cool. All right, hold on. Yep, there's a chest. Knew it. Now I'm just carrying a, a big claymore on my back with a fucking rock attached to it. Dude, I love... Sometimes Zelda gets walky and I fucking love it. Alright, hold on. What is this? Fire fruit, a fruit that generates heat when struck. Cooked correctly, its heating properties improve blood flow and stimulate muscles to raise attack power in high temperatures. <gasps> yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, good cooking ingredient. Give it to me. Give it to me. We have another bow. Yes. Oh, I can't carry any more bows. Well, go fuck you. What is this? Am I supposed to do something here? Oh, fire, fire, fire. Hold on. Um. Yes, fire arrows. Nice, dude. Woo. Hell yeah, bro. Oh. Big hammer fix all of problems? Yes. <laughs> hey, we got a small key. I love I love that I'm just carrying this fucking alright, I don't damn it, I can't carry any more bows yet. I love <laughs> I'm just carrying this big ass fucking Can I climb this? Can I climb this? <laughs> I cannot. Okay, so I might as well smash. Hulk smash. I smashed that one. I did. We needed the key for the door. Fire girl said, is it glitching or is it just you? What's the glitch? What are you seeing? Nothing's glitching for me. All right, what do we have?
What the fuck is this? Hold on. Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you dumb bitch. Oh, my bow broke. Fuck me. I could go back and get that other bow, though. Fuck you. Ooh, a construct bow. A bow used by a captain construct. Though simply built, it is made of fireproof materials and won't catch fire as wooden bows do. Captain construct one horn. This wavy double-aged blade-like horn is formidable when it comes to slashing. Attach it to a melee weapon to increase its attack power. So we can like attack. We can create our own weapons. Dude, this is. I I didn't expect this. I got to be honest. I didn't expect being able to create my own weapons in Zelda. But this is this is fucking dope, man. This is so goddamn cool. <laughs> I have a rock hammer. Oh man, I love it. So the numbers down here are their attack powers. All right, hold on. There's something up there. Hmm. Supposed to set these on fire, maybe? I think so. Huh. What did that do? I am confused. Can't pull the sword out, just swing the whole damn thing. Yeah. So I can't actually, it told me I can detach it, but it'll break the item that I've attached, the rock or whatever. So, but it doesn't break the weapon. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go back and grab that bow that I couldn't get before. Because I broke my one bow. Then we'll figure out what the hell's going on. Back there. Guys, my throat was so fucking sore the last few days that like... It hurt to swallow and everything. So like, I wasn't eating. <laughs> oh, I got the construct bow. Shit. All right. How's the game volume versus me, guys? Is it too loud? Is it too low? Hannah, you'll be right back. Hey, no worries. I supposed to put rocks in these, maybe? Let's get two rocks up there and find out. I'm a little... I feel like I was supposed to do something with this up here, but I, I don't know what. That's four. And there's fire stuff there. It's perfect. Okay, great. I didn't have to do a lot of uh, fiddling then. That's awesome. I don't... Is there something to do here? Or was this just a place to like fuse weapons? I think this might just be a place to fuse weapons. Okay. Hey! 
think that is so much fun. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Always check. Sometimes they're sneaky. Sometimes in Zelda, they're sneaky. They hide shit. You have done well to reach this place. I think they say the same thing every shrine at the end. Yeah, we offer you this light, so I'll probably just skip those. The shrines are just a taste, too. Wait until we get to our first big dungeon. It'll be fun. Fire Girl said, Skilly, what's your favorite Starbucks drink? Ooh, I'm going to be boring because I don't like coffee, Fire Girl. I, I've talked about that quite a bit. Not a coffee fan, so there's not a lot at Starbucks I like. So it would probably be something fruity from there. I actually, I actually have only been to Starbucks like three or four times in my life, and it's been a while. I don't, I don't go because I don't like coffee. So, uh, but they used to have like this dragon fruit like smoothie or like iced drink or something. I remember getting one time. It was really good. You guys are talking about McDonald's and McDonald's for breakfast. I like uh, McMuffin, but I take off the Canadian bacon because I just like like an egg and cheese sandwich. That's that's kind of my go to. I like to get the hash brown, you know, the hash brown that comes with it. I like to get the hash brown and put it on the sandwich. Delicious. Steward construct. I came here. I came because there's something I failed to give you. But OK, please take it. What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that, bro? Energy cell, a gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It can power Zonai devices. What I have just given you is an energy cell. It is required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices right here. However, I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use it. Okay. I hope that energy cell I provided is useful to you. Sure thing. Thanks, homie. I'm full up on weapons. All right. I'm going to save my hammers. <laughs> I always tend to, in Breath of the Wild, I always tended to use my shittier weapons. Like for just regular bite fights and then when you fight something bigger or when you get to like bosses and stuff that's when you break out your your better weapons and yes there are bosses so coast alley said they still have it skilly i also do not like coffee drink too many black coffees throughout my life also do the same thing with my mcmuffins hate pork yeah i don't like pork so that's why and also too I like bacon. The only pork I'll eat is bacon, but I don't like Canadian bacon because it's basically it's basically just ham, right? Like pork. But I'm very picky about my bacon. My bacon has to be like crisp just right. And a lot of places, especially fast food places, don't get it right. So I just don't get bacon unless it's at like a nicer restaurant then I'll get bacon. Oh, look, they're fighting. Let's let them clean each other up and then we'll take care of it. Alright, I gotta jump in. Ah! Ah! Excuse me, bitch. Oh, I can't I can't do anything to you. Like that. I gotta start blocking with my shield. I always forget that's uh, like an important thing in Zelda. Oh, the fireflies are gonna go away. I'd like to catch some, but I can't run up on them. Aren't ham and pork the same things, though? Like, they both come from a pig, right? It's the same type of meat. I know they're probably, like, different cuts or whatever, but right? 
Bacon pizza is the best. Ah, that's okay. I kind of, I gotta be honest. I will eat bacon on a pizza. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not a big fan of like bacon bits or bacon that way. Cause on pizzas, unless you go to like a fancier or a nicer place, right? But if you order like a chain pizza, they just basically put like bacon bits, right? And the bacon bits are gross to me. They're like little pieces of bacon fat. That guy has a, he made a fucking, he made a weapon out of. <laughs> Stop sounding an alarm, you bitch. A board guster? They're like making their own weapons like I would. That's pretty dope. All right, come on, bitch. Can I take my shield out again? Stop doing that. I want to block. Oh no, he set my shield on fire. And my stick and the wood around me. Put that put it out. Put it out. Fuck, dude. Fucking asshole. He set my shit on fire. You fucking D-bag. I gotta. No, 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 no. Put it away. Put it away. Drop. Drop, drop, drop. I want this. But put it away so that it doesn't burn. Fuck. I also want this. I should drop. I should drop this. I want this board guster. What is this? Dude, it fires like wind. It was because it's so that's so dope. So dope. I can make like different weapons and shit. This game is so cool. Excuse me. Turkey bacon's good, yeah. I'll eat turkey bacon. <laughs> Leslie, what's up, Leslie? Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. You found out you're allergic to pork. Holy shit. A soldier reaper. A tree branch with an added grip and excellent balance. Equip it and use it as a weapon. Okay. Uh, what should I get rid of? I should get rid of this. Let's look at it. Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay, we're we'll save that. That's a good weapon. All right. We can cook, but I really honestly don't need to right now. I could eat something like an uncooked ingredient here just to like pop my health all the way back to 100. Um. There we go. Carrot bacon? I have never heard of carrot bacon. I'm going to be honest. Pond side cave. Bright bloom seed. A seed that's often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off faint light. Okay, let's do it. Hey, let's say, let's hit it. Yo, that's dope. So I can pick it up or I can hit it and use it as light. Hey, hey, you fucks. Ah. Keese eyeball? Fuck those keys. Key swing? Alright. These are the monster parts. We could use these ah, in elixirs. When we get the ability to create elixirs. I do not have a pickaxe to mine. So I believe I cannot get this. Let me try the axe. I don't think it'll work though. Yeah, I need a pickaxe to be able to mine minerals and I don't have one. Shit. What the fuck is that thing? Is this our first little like boss enemy? What is this? Okay, what are you doing? Excuse me? What the hell just happened? <laughs> what was that? I don't understand what we just encountered. A bobble gem? A strange crystal crystal left behind by defeated bobble bubble frogs in caves? 
Its eerie blue glow may entice you to collect even more. That's really weird. That was not in Breath of the Wild. I have no idea what that is. A giant bright bloom seed. Okay. Hey, thanks, fire girl, for joining and supporting and chatting. Take care. Have a good one. Can I use this? I absolutely can. Damn it. I wish that I had a pickaxe. Or wait, 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 wait. You know what? There we go. Ruby. Amber. Flint. I could... I can fuse the ores to my weapons to make them more powerful. <gasps> uh oh, I broke that. Oops, Mabi. Rock saw, dude. All right, I gotta go back up here then. Hey, Leslie just donated, or Leslie has been a channel member at the highest level, at the squadron level. For six months. Leslie, you fucking legend. Thank you so much, Leslie. I really appreciate it. That helps me out a bunch. You're awesome. Leslie's also a big reason we were able to raise a ton of money for uh, over 600 plus dollars for um, almost 700, I think it was, for uh, the American Heart Association when I did that charity stream. So, Leslie, thank you. All right, you know what? I want to, uh, let's take a claymore and let's fuse, let's fuse something else to it. No, not a rock. Let's, uh, what do we want to fuse to it? Let's fuse this ruby to it. How about that? So we're going to drop the ruby. Let's see what happens. <laughs> we now have like a fire sword. A ruby broadsword. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. This is dope. You know what? When do I plan to do another charity stream? Uh, I have, it's on my to-do list to work out. There's a couple of uh, platforms that I could use for free that will allow easier donations for you guys and will allow us to like keep a, le a leaderboard and track like how much money we're raising really easily and it goes directly to the charity without me having to like donate afterwards so i just gotta i just gotta like set one of those accounts up and work with that platform to get it going before i do one but i would like to do one here sometime before the summer ends i would like to do another one i would like to do what i would honestly like to do is i would like to do a charity stream like uh once a quarter at least like so like four times a year and i would like to do like a different charity that i'm passionate about each time so that's what i would like to do um <clears throat> i've had a lot going on in my personal life recently just a lot of like mundane boring stuff like obviously i've been sick this whole last week but i've had a lot of just stuff outside of work and, and streaming and stuff going on that hasn't allowed me to put as much time as I would like into uh, into some of that stuff like that. So, but I'll get around to it. What is this? What? What does this do? Its battery's gonna run out. Aw. How do I... 
Oh, it recharges though. It goes back up. Okay. Okay. Hold on a sec though. Oh, nothing in you? Really? Yeah, I uh, I did kind of mention extra life before. I would like to potentially do extra life. I don't know when that is, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'd have to... I could look it up very... Hey, there's a fish. Someone mentioned fishing. I don't have a fishing pole yet, but I could... Uh, I think you can sometimes just dive in and just catch them. Like if I get close enough here. Sometimes. It seems like I can't for that one. I might be able to shoot... Here, let's try this. Yeah, there we go. That's one way to fish, right? An ancient, uh, Ar Arowina? All right, there's some kind of there's something going on over here. Let's see what this is. And then we'll come back and build a boat. What is the purpose over here? What's going on down there? There's a chest. But okay. about that that looks like a long way down bro <laughs> that was awesome i just pushed that guy off the fucking cliff hey, i got my thick stick back too all right what's the uh what are we nope 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 we're gonna make this so much easier on ourselves. I want this one. Can I get that one? Damn it. Can I not grab any of them for real? Alright. Um, fuck a duck. How am I gonna... How am I gonna do this? All right. You know what? <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. I got this. I got this. Hey, an acorn. What's up, Spacewalker? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Yeah, man, I've been sick. The family and I were sick, so I don't know if you're in the Discord, but I posted it there, so. I'm still sick, but I'm feeling I'm feeling better-ish, so. <clears throat> Alright. This should work. Ah. 
Okay, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Ah. Uh. No. It's like the game can't decide if it wants me to climb it. No. God damn it. Wait, put away this big ass weapon, bro. I don't know if this is the way I'm actually supposed to solve this, but it's, <laughs> it's the way, it's the way that Skilly did it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, I got some amber. You know what? Let's fuse a weapon with that because the weapon fusing shit is fucking fun as hell. So where are our... Oh, it's right here. That's it. Can we infuse this with... Because it's already been infused, right? We can't. Oh, already been fused. Okay, so we can't. Um, let's do another rusty broadsword then. Ooh, plus four. Look at that. An amber reaper? Dude. Bruh. Bruh. You know what I mean? That was dope. All right. Now, here's a question for you. How the fuck are we going to get out of here? I'll be honest. I have no clue. I uh, did not think this through properly. And uh, yeah, I did not. I did not put away for myself to get out of this place. So we have a little bit of a problem because I don't think my little stick trick is going to work. I don't think this is going to work. Oh, OK, never mind. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Look at me. I'm the best, man. Dude, yes. I love you can problem solve this game to death. Oh, oh, God, I thought I was going to slide off. Ooh. I love it. There are so many options now for how you solve a problem or a situation. Oh, God, this is so fucking cool. All right, guys. All right. We need to get up, right? They're going to tell us something here, but I have an idea. All right. <laughs> I think it's what you're supposed to do, but it seems a little crazy. Hold on. We got to move this out of the way for going to build our own airship okay that's what we're gonna do we're gonna talk to these guys first spacewalker just donated fifty dollars said for the get better fund spacewalker thank you so much i appreciate that man that helps out a bunch we spent like no joke guys uh, for those of you that are in the u.s you know our healthcare system it's it's lovely 
um <laughs> we haven't hit our deduct our family deductible yet this year so because we had strep throat you have to go to the doctor and get antibiotics for that so we all had to go to the doctor we all had to get antibiotics right so we spent this week like a thousand plus dollars because our deductible hasn't been met yet so we had to pay out of pocket on doctors it was insane <laughs> but thank you spacewalker i appreciate that autumn said oh god it's brutal it is brutal yeah <laughs> all right the rafts for crossing to the other side are broken transportation is on hold indefinitely this is ordinarily where we send resources across the river the only silver lining is that the zodi devices are undamaged Ah, it seems you do not know of Zodai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. This green thing is called a Zodai device. The one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind on demand by striking it. They are self-evidently useful. We have a variety of Zodai devices for multitudinous purposes. Using Zodai devices requires energy. An external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you already have one. Coast Ally said deductibles are the worst. Yeah, it sucks ass. So, uh, yep. <laughs> it just, if you, <laughs> there's so many things wrong with our healthcare system. We won't, I won't, I will try not to go on a tangent, but yeah. Uh, you already have one. That is a relief, but perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. An energy cell stores the energy required to use Zodai devices. Its energy will replenish automatically while Zodai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely. Otherwise, you may run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation. It does not change our need for a raft. Zodai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively, and you will find many ways to employ them. Yep. <coughs> okay. Ah, oh, screw you. I want to use your stuff, Dan. All right. What do you have to say, buddy? Mm. The steward contracts were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary constructs, maker constructs, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. You should take time out to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. All right. So I think I've done this wrong, right? Um, well, actually, you know what? Let's try. Hold on. Let's try this. They're talking about building a raft. I think I need to, I need to resituate these and like put them on the back and then I'll hit them to push us forward. But I want to see if these can make us fly. <laughs> so. Probably have to put them on the bottom for that. Can I flip this whole thing though? I really wondered if I could use this as like a hover bo boat or whatever. You know what I mean? The problem with that is, is how would you hit them? Okay, they do not produce upward thrust. Okay, so we need them. Okay. All right. Well, it was worth a shot. I thought that would be really cool. Instead of rafting across, we could have... I do think you can build flag machines. It just must not be with these fans. All right. So what I have to do, because I saw it in a trailer, is attach them like this. Okay, that's <laughs> that's not right, Skilly. Oops, I didn't mean to put a pin. There. Don't put a pin there. What's wrong with you?
There we go. All right. Was there no other? Okay. I think we're good then. I'm under the raft. Oh my God. What has happened to me? Okay. And away we go. Dude, this is so cool that we can build our own vehicles. It fucking Zelda out, dude. Oh my God. I did not expect this. Real. Oh, are you going this direction? It is very late to be traveling. This mountain path is essentially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. Yeah, I I know I see there's some debate about healthcare in there, and I see the back and forth. I don't disagree with the back and forth. It's not um there's there's pros and negatives to both but i would also argue our system is negative all around right now uh you talk about long wait times bad physicians we have quite let, listen there are good doctors and stuff out there but there's plenty of bad physicians out there now in the u.s healthcare system and we have massive wait times i had to wait eight months for uh a, a doctor about my immune system stuff i had to wait six months to see an ent doc an ent doctor which is the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Uh, I had to wait four months to be able to get an MRI that my doctor deemed was medically necessary. So even with our system in the state it is, it has not propagated better wait times or better physicians or any of that. So this mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account traveling. I've developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Sh shall I tell you them? Yeah, very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling the mountain path. A fire can be used either to cook or to warm yourself. How do I start a fire? I recommend using flint as a fire starter. I have some flint. Place flint next to a bundle of wood, then strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. Would you like to hear about cooking? Sure, why not? You can cook anytime, anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook hordes or guts with food. Save these parts as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an, alter an alternate way to warm your body or recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. That's all I can tell you. Take care. Okay. Good to know. All right. Dude, there's so much stuff here. Bunch of arrows, bunch of flint. All right, so basically he said I need to drop flint next to wood, which there's wood right there, right? So we're gonna get, we're gonna put some flint in our hands. Oh, wrong thing. I didn't mean to pull that out. Um, where's the flint? Oh, flint, right here. So drop it. No. All right, and then I need a metallic weapon. Like a stone weapon. Let's just do this. There we go. Perfect. Put that away. I don't want to burn my only axe up. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. No, I don't want fire on my back constantly. Because I don't know if that uses the weapon up or not. Okay. Let's try to do an elixir this time. Monster parts and other stuff. So. 
Let's see, what else can we add for elixir? Is that a firefly? Let's see what we get. We should get an elixir of some sort. Look at a bouncing around in there. <laughs> Sneaky elixir. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's do it again. Let's hold one of each. Uh, let's try one of these. Add some choo-choo jelly. Let's throw this in. Let's see what we get. Dubious food. Okay, fuck. Um, what else do we have? Let's do more fireflies. Let's make more sneaky elixir. Okay. Can't carry any more. Well, you know what? Rusty broadsword is better than that. All right, upwards. Are we heading in the somewhat direction towards the uh, towards the other shrine? I think we are. I believe this to be the right way. What's up, Dave? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Is that just a tree branch? I thought that tree branch for a second was like something else. I don't know. I thought it was like a weird enemy or something. What is he doing? Is he gonna throw a barrel at me? No, they're like fusing their weapons. Hey, fuck you guys. Fuck you assholes. Ow? Where the fuck did that come? Hey, are you throwing rocks at me, bitch? Set your ass on fire. Is that the ruby? What happened? What does this ruby weapon do? <laughs> yeah, baby! It like sets them on fire. Hell yeah, dude. I don't even need to... Ooh, let's test this out. Let's test this out. I mean, eventually it'll break, but I don't even need to do flint. Oh, it actually throws out like a... Uh... Holy shit, dude! I'm setting the whole world on fire. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> might be some light property damage going on. Oh, no, I broke it. Oh, that was such a fun weapon. Damn it. All right, let's put it out. Oh, no, I didn't look at my health. Oh, fuck, dude. I wasn't even paying attention to my health. I can't believe that. <laughs> I should have been paying attention to my health. Hey, JJC, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. That was pretty cool. Do I have it back? I have it back. Okay. Oh, if we if we hit this guy, he's gonna his jelly will turn into fire choo choo jelly. Or red choo choo jelly, yeah. Yep. All right, good shit. Where am I right now? Oh, no, 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 no. I set, I set my fucking weapon on fire, dude. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, <laughs> I, 
I gotta be careful with the fire. I did that might be uh that might not be the best weapon for me. Cause I'm not very attentive. <laughs> I feel like I need to be I need I need to be extra careful. But you know what? Burn, baby. Burn. Okay. All right, that's a lot of fire. We'll just uh we'll let that <laughs> Well, oh god. Are they throwing fire back at me? Excuse me, bitch. Oh, can I take out a... Uh, watch this, guys. Ooh, can I do it? Is, it? is this one of the ones I can hold? No, these are the small ones. Oh, fuck. I need a big one to do that. It's throwing fucking barrels at me, dude. Hold on a sec. Captain Construct Horn. Hold. Drop. Then we're gonna fuse. Oh my god, we have a Captain 1 Reaper. Holy shit. Soldier Reaper. No, fuck you guys. Try this. Eventually, my sword or my shield will break. Eventually, so you kind of have to be careful of that, but. Oh, I can't take that rusty broadsword? Okay. I think I'll keep the fire weapon for a bit. I still got to take care of this guy. I feel like bow and arrow is the way to go with him because he's a little dangerous. My bow is... Oh, I didn't mean to do... What does that do? Hold on. Okay, my bow is broken. I was I was going to drop that bow so that I could pick up a new one. This guy had a bow, though, too. I can't take a construct bow. All right, hold on. Oh, don't do that. I want to drop... I wouldn't bow to get this construct bow because it's way better. A barrel club? I would love to take that. Uh, but... Dude, I really need to keep the axe. I really need to keep a lot of this. Fuck. I think I'm just going to stick with what I got. Opal?
Can I do a charge up attack? I can. Okay. I was trying to not do this. Just because I feel like it takes a lot of time for limited items potentially, but fuck it. Yeah, for three arrows. Alright, well that was that was kinda worth it. Alright, there are mine carts here. Hey. Dude. Guys, this is gonna be so freaking cool. We're gonna make a little we're gonna make a two minecart chain, okay? This even hold on i'm gonna do something ridiculously stupid and i don't know if it's gonna work all right i have no idea if this is gonna work but we're gonna try to make the fastest mine cart possible <laughs> this is gonna look so fucking dumb i don't care though we're doing it anyways all right <laughs> I don't even know what the point of this is. I've rigged up a three fan system. Let's go. Are they all going to blow? They all are. Yeah, baby. Look at that speed. Look at that speed. <coughs> I can't see shit in here. I need fire. Oh, man. Can I, can I clobber you out of the way? Nope. Oh, that was the shortest my car ride ever. I power, I did the thing for the thing with the things. I wanted to like, I wanted to like ride to my death. You know what I mean? That was still pretty cool though. I strapped, <laughs> I strapped three fit. Unnecessary. Unnecessary, but I did it any way. Hey, what's up? This cave is especially dark. You will need a light in order to proceed to the mining side ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I do. Ah, you do not know of them. Sure, I know of them. Just tell me about them. The glowing red flat the glowing flowers, there are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many of us use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I am posted here to provide a reminder to break bright bloom seeds, by the way. Did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a, blight, a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you see growing there is no different. I caused it to bloom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Okay. So. I'm wondering. I have some, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oops. Drop it. Use it. Oh yeah, something's already been fused. Fused it to my shield. What does that do? Does that light at all? Hmm. So should I just fuse it to an arrow then maybe? Those, all my weapons have been fused already. So. She did, she specifically mentioned arrows. So let's try it. There we go. 
So like fire them and just use them as lights. Okay. I could do that. What is this? Hulk smash. Zona night. Okay. There's a lot of zonanite down here. What have I done attaching this bright bloom seed to my shield? Is it gonna like, when I bring my shield out and I get hit, is it just gonna explode into this blossom of light? <laughs> I don't know what I've done. I now have a bright, uh, a seed attached to my fucking shield. Oh no, my hammer is badly damaged. That's not good. No! <clears throat> not my fucking hammer. That's okay. <laughs> Weapon durability. God damn it. We can fix this. <laughs> New hammer. <laughs> New hammer number two. Okay, let's go. I'm just out here building hammers, dude. This is the Stone Age. I'm reinventing everything. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> that Zona Knight is already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Oh, are you unfamiliar with it? This is zonanite. I mentioned it is a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. <clears throat> processing? Zonanite is processed by smelting it in, in a furnace. It's thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what source of materials the ore can be processed into. Zonai technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. Those occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting Zonanite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Zonai charges? Zonai charges are what power Zonai devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Do you need anything else explained? Crystallized charges. Crystallized charges are a solidified form of Zodai charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Please visit anytime you require processed materials. Um, okay. Oh, so I can exchange. Okay. Uh, do I have <clears throat> any more bright bloom? I do not. What does an acorn arrow do? Nothing, apparently. Hammer time! I don't know if my voice would let me do Scooby-Doo right now. 
A threat, a threat. Oh no. What are these? Aha, I am not given permission to take those. <laughs> Mining construct. Could it be that you have forgotten to break Zodai capsules? Zodai capsules? You have forgotten yours or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zodai capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zodai devices. It's unfortunate that you seem to have that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Zodai Fan Times 3, a Zodai device that produces wind with its internal propeller. Okay, those are the things we've been using. The ones I gave you were fan types. You can employ them at any time. They will generate wind when stuck. Zodai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep a healthy supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Okay. So we're just going to do one this time because she just told us basically that we have a limited supply. Here we go. Oh man, is this thing gonna be able to get us all the way there? Dude, I never thought there'd be roller coasters in fucking Zelda. I mean, this is a mine cart, but you know what I mean. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we woke to the sound of the bell. When we heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. It also played its part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of the temple and the sound of its bell stir fond memories in me. Whatever you say, man. You're just a ghost dude who's stuck in the past. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Device dispenser. Operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zodai capsule production target. Oh, do you want to use the device dispenser? I've nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. <clears throat> sure, what is it? Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zodai capsules by converting certain resources. The resources it accepts are things such as construct hordes and Zodai charges. You can process resources that you hold by dropping them into the receptacle. It is similar to using a cooking pot. No, I know about uh, capsules. The dispenser is available for use. Okay, so. Can I put these in? Let's put five of these in and see what happens. What happens? We get a capsule with a Zonai device, I assume. <coughs> Fuck. Sorry, guys. We got a lot. Holy shit. Portable pot. Uh, a portable pot used for cooking. Okay. A flame emitter. A Zonai device that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection for monsters. We got a lot. Should I put... I'm going to put... Hold on. <laughs> Did I get something new? There might be only... Yeah, only certain ones. Okay. 
Material used as a power source for constructs and other devices. Put it in a Zodai device dispenser or use it to recover a small amount of power for a Zodai charge cell. Okay, it boosts my... So I can't use all of these. Because I need to charge my battery all the way up. Oh, wow. Now I have like two battery things for my for my charge. Okay. Well, I got quite a few capsules from that, so. Let's break these. And then we need a mine cart to get across. To go over there. To go up. And to keep going towards that. Is that the, uh, that's the one we have marked, right? Why is there a big red X on my map? What is that? Oh, that's, is that where I died? <laughs> that's where I died that one time. Alright, I need you. I'm already, I'm already hooked into this game. I don't know about you guys. I don't know what you guys are thinking, but this is fucking dope. This is Breath of the Wild on steroids, and that's exactly what I fucking wanted. And we haven't even gotten down to Hyrule yet. We haven't even gotten to the main fucking part of the game. Oh. Wait, is there a Korok? You guys hear that? There is. Come on. What's up, buddy? My friend and I got separated. Oh, poor you. Oh, dude. I'm already going this way, bruh. My friend is sending up smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired. I can't move. Oh, poor baby. We're going to stick your butt. Actually, you know what? We're going to give you the ride of a lifetime, buddy. There you go. All right. It's not going to be scary at all. Don't look down. It's only about 36,000 feet in the air, would be my guess, okay? Just don't look down. You'll be fine. You will be absolutely fine. Oh, okay. Good, I'm glad. I wasn't sure if that would work, dude. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Korok seed times two. Bye. Sweet. Now they're like hanging out, chilling together. Do you guys have anything else to say? I made it thanks to you. Yes. That's right. <laughs> Detach him in mid flight. <laughs> I don't know what would happen. Uh, like, I would never be able to get those Korok seeds, probably, right? I don't know. Or I'd have to find I'd have to find him down in Hyrule when I get down there and figure out some way to get him back up, right? Like create a flying device to fly him back up here just to get him back to this guy. That would be crazy. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I know, fucked up. I, for those of you that this is your first Zelda game, I just want to say it. This is hard to describe. It is and it isn't Zelda. <laughs> like, this is such a such a unique like. Uh, additions to Zelda, but it feels very Zelda-esque, but this kind of stuff has never been done in a Zelda game before, so it's really cool. Okay, there's a broken track up there, and I'm really... I'm at a loss on how to deal with this. I gotta be honest. Hmm. 
I think I know. I got new armor, but I haven't equipped it. I must have missed that. Hold on. I'll check it here in a sec. Is this right? <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I thought we got stuck hanging over the fucking void. I was about to be like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, I have new armor. I do. Oh shit, you're right. There we go. <laughs> I've been running around butt naked. Well, I had my I had my kilt piece on, but I didn't have anything else. Um So we gotta keep going, right? Drakai said this is how all games should be. Dude, I'm tell I'm not kidding. So my top three games of all time, right? Before Breath of the Wild, it would have been and this is very specific to me, though. It would have been... I, and I don't think I could put these in any order because they're very different games. But my top three games of all time before Breath of the Wild because they mean different things to me, right? And, and have different, like, important nostalgic and personal reasons. It would have been Final Fantasy VII, Halo 3, and uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Those would have been my three favorite games before Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild pushed ocarina of time down to number four for me and i now say my three favorite games of all time are final fantasy 7 halo 3 and the legend of zelda breath of the wild those are my three favorite games of all time they're all very different games and i like them a lot all for very i like them for very different reasons so i couldn't like say this one is better than that one but you know Cry Cabot said, I hope they bring cross-dressed Link back. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming they probably, you probably will be able to. What Cry Cabot's referring to is there's a lot of different armor and outfits you could get in, uh, in Breath of the Wild. And one of them was you, you come across, there's a village in the desert <clears throat> and it's made up of all of like warrior women. Um, you can think of it as like Amazonian women essentially, but it's, it's not there. But anyway. Um, and they don't allow men in so the way you get in is you get one of their outfits and you dress link in a dress basically as like a woman and you you sneak in it's really kind of funny and comical um it's it's a great it's a great little uh it's a great little like plot device and everything that is a awesome little area in the game too all right my question is how do i continue from here I don't have what I need to build flying devices. What's that noise? Okay, so that's snow. Uh, is that the time bell ringing? Like Raru was talking about? The It's going to be cold up there, and we don't have proper armor that has cold resistance, so we're going to have to rely on our food that has cold resistance uh otherwise we're gonna be fucked i think i actually have to go up this way i have to go from down here i could dive into water though <laughs> yeah uh the Gar the gardu tribe or the garuda tribe oh what is this Jello, what's up? Oh, dude, 
I want to kill one of these fucking things. Aim for the head. Got it. Discovery. Pit cave. Okay. Hey, what's up? Excuse me, the snowy mountain above us is extremely cold. Unprepared travelers will swiftly lose vitality and may even die. Are you fortified against the cold? Uh, I'm, I'm good. I know what I'm doing. Cold can be fatal for the unprepared. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. I'm good. Watch this. I'm gonna cook a spicy pepper dish. It's gonna, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> God damn it. I ate one of the fucking spicy peppers. Uh, what else should we put in here? A stamina shroom, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, it didn't make it spicy. Do I have to put more than one pepper? What if I just do like a pepper and a uh, fruit? <laughs> yep, cold resistance. There we go. Spicy summered fruit. Okay. I have like four food items, I think, right now that give me cold resistance. God, I wonder if... Are we just going to have to tough it out with food items that are cold resistant? Or are they going to actually have like... Uh, there's cold armor somewhere in the game because there was in Breath of the Wild. But I wonder if it's not going to be up here. We're just going to have to tough it out for now. Hey. So these guys give you that and then he hops. That's so I don't know what these are for. The 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 bubble gems. I'm going to call them bubble gems. Ooh. Do I have a weapon? I have it fused yet. I do not. What's up? Don't mind me. <laughs> Ranger construct. Oh, more spicy peppers. I have the ability to cook on the fly too because I have the Zonai pot capsules with me. That's pretty nice. Am I going up? What am I doing here? Yes, I'm going up. All right. We need to eat something with cold resistance. Let's do the three minute one, the spicy fruit that just did like two right here. All right, we got cold resistance for three minutes. Timer countdown. We have to be very, very quick. There's going to be puzzles and stuff to do, though, too. All right, this looks like one of the old school Korok puzzles right here, actually. Like you do this and it's, uh... Yep. Yes, it's a Korok puzzle. That's the Korok music. There we go. Haha, you found me, huh? You're not Hestu. Hestu, that was the big Korok's name that you give the Korok seeds to. Korok seeds, right? Korok poop. Well, if you see Hetsu, please return this to him. Thanks. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too, so you should keep an eye out while you wonder. Yeah, man. All right, 
I don't know if it's gonna be here, but I would not put it past. I would not put it past them, the Zelda team. They usually hide like like the cold armor could be in a very cold place and you have to like you have to like hardship it to get it. Or you need some cold resistant food and then you can have it. What is this? What are you? So confused. Can't grab it. All right. I don't have a lot. Of <laughs> I'll figure that out later. We will come across more of it. I'm sure. All right. Here's Raru. The soldier constructs and captain constructs are only doing their duty to protect the Garden of Time. At the time, it was sadly necessary to protect our land from invaders. I'm terribly sorry for any threat they pose to you now. Hey, no worries, man. I'm used to it, dude. I'm Link. Everything always attacks me. Damn it. Ouch. I'm actually kind of curious what happens if this guy hits my shield with the uh, the bloom seed on it. it but it, it sprouts. Okay. I thought that might actually happen. That's that's weird. <laughs> it's very strange that you can attach it to your weapon and that if they hit you, it just kind of sprouts. I'm gonna let my cold resistance run out here. It's about to just so you guys see what happens. Ten, nine, eight, seven. And then we got a pot right here that we will cook at. So watch Link's temperature gauge. I step out in the cold, unbearable cold. Uh, if I start to get too cold, so he'll shiver. He'll be a little bit slower. He won't be as good as combat. I'll start taking a quarter heart damage like every two, three seconds. Uh, and I only have three hearts right now, so that's going to be very bad. I can stay near a heat source or I can eat something, right? That has it. We're going to cook a bunch of pepper stuff here because I just got some more peppers. So we'll hold like two peppers. Maybe throw like a steak in there. Maybe a mushroom. Not too many of any one ingredient, I think. Because we want to make it spicy. You're heading out, Adriana. Hey, no worries. Take care. Have a good one. Thanks for joining and chatting some. Uh, I take the butt pillow out. This simple mushroom pack skewer has its colorful presentation to think for its appeal. God damn it, it didn't make it spicy. We'll do over half the dish. That has to make it spicy, right? Three peppers and one steak, that has to make a spicy dish. <laughs> spicy pepper steak, eight minutes cold resistance. I was about to say, bro, if that doesn't make it, if that doesn't make it spicy, I don't know what would. Da -da 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 -da. Link is humming to himself. <laughs> spicy pepper steak, another eight minutes. Oh, we only have one spicy pepper. All right. All right, before we head out, cold resistance. Eight minutes. 6.30. Let's do a 6.30 one. Are we going up or are we going down? It looks like there's a cave. That'll be a shelter out of the cold. There's this fucking guy, though. Mm -hmm. 
let them fight it out. Actually. I wanted some, uh, white choo-choo jelly. Ice. He's human. Oh, dude. He's got a flame emitter club. Whoa. So fucking cool. That's one of the Zodai devices. That's dope, man. More spicy peppers. <laughs> that is such a cool weapon. Look at this. You see the... Look at that. So dope. Fire. Oh no, I missed him. Bubble gym. Damn it. I put my cold resistance on and now I'm in here. A bomb flower. Mm, okay. Hmm. Get me getting excited shooting my hot stuff everywhere. Yeah, man. It's exciting. Oh God, is that a like-like? If I throw, I don't have any rusty weapons to throw at you. Hey, eat some fire, bitch. supposed to hit that oh shit oh shit oh fuck um here eat this bitch yeah oh yeah the chest and everything a rusty halibird what is this a like like stone that was a like like those are classic zelda enemies by the way that one looked slightly i mean it had the same features but slightly different so those things can be annoying they can take your equipment so if you get close to them they'll, they'll like lunge out in every zelda game they'll take your equipment they'll take your shield they'll take your weapon if they and they suck it in and the only way to get it back is to kill them Opal. Okay. Uh, typically how you kill him is just hit him with a bunch of stuff. They, that bulbous thing that kept coming out of it that you used to kill it, that was, uh, that, that's not like, that's a new addition to them, I guess I should say. Uh, like likes are a pain. Yeah, like likes in Ocarina of Time, like likes were a pain in the ass. They were, you needed to be very careful when fighting them because you'd end up losing all of your, if you, if you didn't know what you were facing and you weren't paying attention or you didn't take it seriously, you'd end up losing your shit. And then it's like, well, I got to get all my shit back. <laughs> I luckily recognized it right away and I was like, I'm not getting close. They're better dealt with at range. Uh, so <laughs> if you could, if you could keep range, 
between you and them, then that's the best bet. They also tend to hide things like chests or other items or stuff behind them or, you know, on the path that they're blocking or whatever. Okay, he does not. Other than fire, I don't know what his weakness is. So this is interesting. Uh, I only have this last fire weapon too. No, I broke that already. Flame emitter shield. Dude. Okay, uh. I broke my rusty halibird already. Alright, hold on. There we go. Damn, they. Uh, both of them dropped chests. Interesting. Opal, I'll take it. Do I, I? All my weapons are infused, aren't they? Yeah, they've been infused. Okay. Josh, you could do that. Do, do you want to see that? Let's do it, man. Yeah, I you can fuse pretty much anything. <laughs> Let's fucking do it, man. Bomb arrows? Bomb arrows are a thing in Zelda. They absolutely are. Yeah, buddy. God, this game... This... I... Oh, my God. I'm so happy. So far, this feels amazing. The game plays great. Looks great. We haven't run into anything sounds great feels like breath of the wild but like they've given you so many more options now to like ways to traverse and to like weapon options and everything it's, it's fantastic yeah that's a great point so cry cab is bringing up a great point about like likes so they were out in the open a lot here in Ocarina of Time, like likes would be kind of hidden. Like he, uh, Crycabit's right. They would like drop from ceilings, or they would, uh, they would be like around tight corners, and you maybe would see them. And so when you would first run into them, a lot of times, if you hadn't played before, you weren't being careful, didn't know they were there, you would get an item stolen. Usually, your shield would be the first thing that they would take. And then it was kind of a pain in the ass because they had a very long reach, right? So that defending against them became like a big issue if you don't have your shield. All right. We don't have a ton more. I don't have any more spicy peppers. I don't think I have like one. And I've only got three more pieces of uh, food to hold off cold resistance. So, we gotta be making waves. Can I climb up this? Icy vertical surfaces are slick and hard to climb. Other vertical surfaces become slick when wet. Well, fuck! Makes sense, but I can't climb the ice. Drac Ice said, do they ever remove old mechanics? Oh yeah, absolutely. There's like, so, so there's certain items in Zelda, like, uh, and you'll see, we'll get some of them in this game. There's certain items or weapons that are like held over or common across games, but sometimes every item or weapon doesn't appear in the next game. Like a weapon that's always been a favorite of mine is the hook shot. So it's like a little device that literally fires a chain and uh, like a hook out or some kind of spear like device and you could like shoot it and then pull items towards you or hurt enemies, pull enemies towards you. Or I could like shoot it right now at this ice and then pull myself towards the ice. 
Uh, so the hook shot is like a common item, but uh, that doesn't appear in every single Zelda game. That's just like one example. So yeah, and uh, Breath of the Wild was a huge change. Uh, this climbing mechanic, being able to climb on like almost any surface was brand new in Breath of the Wild. That wasn't something in old Zelda games. And that really opened the world up. Uh, Zelda hasn't, Zelda has always been kind of semi open world but somewhat linear, but Breath of the Wild changed that and that it was pretty much fully open world. So yeah, there are some, uh, there are some differences. All right, I know what I need to do. And then there are certain mechanics or certain things they've done for each Zelda game that are specific to just that Zelda game for whatever reason. So, Crycabot said like the Pegasus boots, yeah. Yeah, so each Zelda game usually has like its own special like It's hard to explain. I don't know a word for it like it's a special like stick or whatever for lack of a better term like uh, here's a great example in um, Zelda Twilight Princess you could turn into a wolf Right and there was a lot of different mechanics around that link could turn into a wolf and uh that is a mechanic that's only ever appeared in Twilight Princess, to my knowledge. So there's... And it was used pretty much throughout the whole game, so... Okay, I'm gonna need one more branch. <laughs> You'd love to see classic items in the new Zelda games. There are some. Yeah, there are some. Not all of them, but some of them. I kind of fucked that up. do that whatever that's still not what I was trying to do how do I pull this chest out there we go yep. yeah it depends on the Zelda game I will say I will give Zelda credit one of the great things about the franchise is there haven't really been any Zelda games or any mechanics that they've added that I've been like, oh, I don't like that. Like usually the stuff they add is pretty cool. And it's not that, sh it's not that the stuff that they take out sometimes, like it, it's not that it wouldn't be cool to have it in the game, but the way they've designed the game around whatever the new mechanics are, like you don't, you don't miss it for lack of a better term, I guess is what I would say. Well, that's one way to get up here, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. We're gonna eat our dubious food. Um, I need a better weapon. Well, we should break this first. Okay. That guy hits hard, dude. He has some sort of axe. Not cool, bruh. Not cool. It's cold-resistant stacks. So fuck it. Um... You know what? Captain One Reaper. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Might be in trouble. Might be in trouble. There we go. Yeah. He's just asking me a question. I didn't want to answer. So these are flame emitter heads. Can I pick them up? 
what happens if I throw them? Do they like blow up? No. Okay. <laughs> I can't carry any more construct bows. Well, I'll get rid of a wooden then. A wooden one then. Construct bows are uh, way better. Or not way better. They're one attack power higher, but still. You miss mega evolutions in Pokemon? Yeah. I feel you there, man. All right. Uh, what happens if I make... Like, uh, can I make an ice sword? Hold on. I messed up. I want to hold you. I want to drop you. And then I'm going to pull out this. And I'm going to fuse. I'm going to make an ice sword. <laughs> Yep. Choo choo jelly broadsword. Okay, I don't know what that does exactly. What happens if I take this tree branch, man? Hear me out now. Take this tree branch. We're gonna try to make it spatial. What happens if I do. Whoops. I keep forgetting to hit drop. Just drop one. Press and hold up and then select. Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And then fuse. <laughs> yes. Now we have a Captain One Reaper again. Okay. Because that one's about to break. We'll just use this up since it's about to break. All right. Where to? I feel like we got to keep going up because I'm going to run out of cold resistance stuff here fairly soon. I did some shenanigans to get up there. Hey, later, Sebi. Thanks for joining and chatting. I appreciate it. What is the best way? Is this the cave we came out of? Yeah. Yep. Fuck. Backtracking. Combine the jelly with Choo Choo Charles. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that would do to him. Make him too powerful. Alright, I think I'm supposed to go this way. But I'm gonna have to do my log trick again. Uh oh. Uh. Shit. So we've run into a slight, slight problem. Oh, I have a new stone axe. Okay. I imagine they would not have put all of these trees here if I didn't need most of them to make it up there. You know? So... All right, time to get to work attaching. Let's try to make this one a little less jank, huh? And a little more frank. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about? Is that an ice dragon in the distance? Probably. Hold on. After I get this one connected, we'll take a closer look. Yeah, 
Damn it. Yeah, guys, we have not we have not seen the best enemies in the game. Where did you see an ice dragon, Drac Ice? Yeah, we saw one uh, flying around before. Oh shit, my cold resistance wore off. I didn't even fucking notice. Oh fuck, we're down to our last two, but these are eight minute ones, so we should be okay. All right. All right, that's a little janky, but it should work. No, let me climb. Yeah, buddy. Woo -woo. I know my shield is badly damaged. I need fire. Ah, oh, damn it. Really? Ah, oh, the game is gonna, that game is making me do this. Do I have spicy peppers? I do. Let's put two on there. Let's make some spicy fish. A spicy fish -a dish. <laughs> Hannah, you're back. What's up? Welcome back. And then let's make... What else should we make? Let's make some spicy chicken. And then one more spicy dish, right? Um, I feel like every time I put mushrooms in it, it doesn't come out spicy. A spicy meatball. <laughs> do we have one more spicy dish? We only have one pepper. Uh, let's try to do it with... See what happens. Gamma bulbs and a spicy pepper. <laughs> Steamed fruit. How the fuck? How the fuck did basically an onion and a spicy pepper make steamed fruit? <laughs> How? How? Sometimes the sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. That did not make sense. I gotta be honest. Um, can I get hold, hold up? I'm worried before we do that last shrine. I want to go up here. I'm worried since that's the last one we need that we might get teleported to the temple of time. I could be wrong, obviously. Probably am wrong. But it looks like there's something up in that tree. <laughs> There we go. Oh yes, Hannah. There is uh there's food crafting in Breath of the Wild too. This system looks a lot more expansive. Don't question the universe, it just is. <laughs> there we go. Two logs was enough. Alright, might be this might be the way down, and I shouldn't be doing this yet. There's a dispenser over there. <laughs> hey! We got some archaic warm greaves. Cold resistance. Yeah, baby. 
All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay, good shit. So we could if you if you look now, you see our temperature meter down there in the bottom right? See how look, if I if you see the blue side on the left is only is really low now. There's only one tick for the blue. If I were to take these off, now it's it's even more. So that means I can withstand colder temperatures for longer. Sweet. All right. All right, let's go do the shrine and then I think that's the way forward. Good shit. Hannah said I'm going to have to side hustle hard and get me a switch just for this. Oh yeah. I mean, if you want to play on the TV, you have to get like a regular one, but there are only 300, not bad for a console. But you could pick up a Switch Lite, which lets you only do portable like Steam Deck. And I think those are, aren't those 200? I think those are 200. Hannah, if you like crafting and you like open world stuff, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom would probably be right up your alley. Honestly. Uh, even if you don't care about Zelda. I promise. They're fantastic. Fantastic. All right, the last shrine in the sky things. Yeah, that's true, Hannah. I, I agree with you. Yeah. Oh. So you've made it here. Now then, extend your right hand. All right, we're going to get a new power. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, bruh. Ascend. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Can I teleport through rocks and shit? What the fuck? Mm. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on top. What? Oh, okay, Hannah. I didn't know you were a huge Zelda fan. That's awesome. Yeah, no. Breath of the Wild and, and so far Tears of the Kingdom. Amazing. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use the said and receive the blessing from the shrine. Uh, okay. You got it, man. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh. I could set down and play this game until my eyes fucking bleed. For real. All right, um, stand here, I guess. Ascend. Exit. Dude. Oh my God. What the fuck? Oh God, that was so, that was so cool. All right, there's a little one right here. Hold on, let's do that one. That's so cool. So it's kind of like, it's not exactly the same. Uh, if for those Zelda fans out there or people who have played a lot of Zelda games, there was a 3DS Zelda game. Was it A Link Between Worlds? Is that what it was called? It was one where you could become, uh, you could have Link become like a painting or a painted like Link and you could like walk on walls and stuff or go through walls or go around like through cracks in walls. You guys remember that? It is very true. You can't play. You can't play on the TV or on the go if you have uh, if you have a, a non-switch light, which is very nice. I play my Switch a lot handheld. I do prefer to play on the TV, but I play a lot handheld. All right, what am I using? That axe is about to break, so why don't we just go with that? I'm gonna try, yeah, there's my dodges. All right, backflips. All right, good shit. Can't 
Can't carry any more bows. He fired a lot of arrows at me. Alright, there's a chest up there. I guess I ascend through this. Yeah, uh, Link Between Worlds was an underrated 3DS Zelda game, I felt like. Well, I think it was very critically acclaimed, and I think people liked it who played it, but not a lot of people... Uh, I feel like not as many people played the 3DS Zelda games, and A Link Between Worlds was fantastic. Um, I need my bow and arrow. I agree, yeah. And I talked about, um, I think it was while you were gone, my three favorite games of all time, and I, I can't rank them, but used to be Ocarina of Time, and then Halo 3, and Final Fantasy 7. But after I played Breath of the Wild, my three favorite games of all time are Breath of the Wild, uh, Final Fantasy 7, and Halo 3. So, uh, I'm a big Zelda fan. And there's a lot of there's a lot of other Zelda games that I would add in like my top 20 or my top 15 probably. So Yeah, there's that <laughs> if we're if we're going to really get uh, serious about talking about different Zelda games, I would be honest, there's not that many bad Zelda games. There's really not. Uh, usually Zelda games are kind of like Mario games in that unless it's a weird offshoot one all of the core mainline ones and even the like side handheld system ones are all really fucking good I haven't said only Zelda 2. Yeah, Zelda 2 was a piece of shit. I will agree with that. <laughs> There's a couple of, of side ones. I wouldn't say they're bad. They just didn't hit right. Some people like them, but uh, like, uh, what was it? Four Swords or the like Game Boy one where you're supposed to play with like friends or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, that one, eh. That wasn't that great. Hey, what's up, Matt? Thanks for joining. Welcome, welcome. We got that. We got the duo, the dynamic duo, Matt and Hannah. And uh, what's up, uh, Elian? Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. My hungry Matthew. <laughs> All right. Ooh, do I gotta like time this right? I do. Spicy. Nice. That's, that's such a that's such a neat little mechanic. I love it. All right. All right, skipping because we've seen that before. It happens at every shrine. They say the same exact thing. They're like, good job on completing, yada, yada. Here's your light blessing. I might let it play a couple more times here and there. May it grant you the strength that you seek. Yes, yes, thank you. All right, we should be able to get into the Temple of Time now. And I think then after that, it's going to put us back down into Hyrule. And then the game really opens up. I see you've restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of the Time should now be open for you. Um, okay. All right. My cold resistance is about to run out. I don't have the cold tunic, but I have the cold pants. So I'm wondering how I'm going to handle the cold without eating something else. 
It might not be... I might be okay now. It might not be enough to, like, uh... Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. It might not be enough to hurt me... Here. I might just be okay with just the pants. Carolinas, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. Hope you're doing well. It didn't save our bridge. So I gotta redo it. Got more resources in here, though. gonna get our glider is that what that is finally how am i gonna get up there hold on i don't see trees here to build a thing to get up to that dispensary so i'm gonna be sneaky i'm gonna bring my own God damn it. Oops. I could have dropped that on my head and hurt myself. It actually would have hurt me. exactly what you're supposed to do here but uh i'm fucking doing it hey what's up creative nick is creative nick here did i miss him hey skilly how's tears of the kingdom coming along so far it's coming great dude i'm very happy that it's feels like uh breath of the wild but on steroids i think is what i said so far so i'm, I'm very pleased with that what are these danger danger <laughs> sorry Seem like, yeah, okay. I'm supposed to do something, I guess. Ooh, this looks, uh, like. Spicy. Spicy. Alright, maybe I need to, before I do this, maybe I need to talk and learn what these pieces are down here. With this, with, uh, Raru. Hmm. The Zonai devices were the pinnacle of our technology. We built an advanced civilization with them and flourished for many, many years. If you can master the use of the Zodai devices, your quest will be much easier. Mm. All right. Okay. Thanks. You are not helpful at all. Oh, did, I, did you knock my fucking log down, you asshole? These function as gliders, right? 
am I supposed to do? Just like stick a log to him and then like fly? Like that's exactly what these are. Oh no, stick a fan probably and launch them, right? I get it now. Okay. We're still gonna try to do this over here. We gotta get back up. Damn it. There we go. No, 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 no. Don't you fall, you piece of shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jumped right off. All right, there we go. I love the, the sweat. This happened in Breath of the Wild, too. When Link's, like, climbing something like this, and you see the sweat coming off of him. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. He's, he's free climbing. No safety net, bro. There we go. Okay. So there's a glider here. Right? Maybe there's a new Zonai device in here. Let's put these in. A Zonai device that can hardest lift to ride the wind to fly further away. Try balancing in the center of the wing. Okay. So we can absolutely... I think I got it. I think I know. Did that just make that platform become unstable? <laughs> I don't like that, man. I don't like that, dude. It's just... Ah. All right. All right, I'm going to try out something absolutely stupid. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't know how this is going to fucking work out. Uh, I need a fan. <laughs> this is the dumbest idea I've ever had. Might be the best idea I've ever had. I don't know. We'll see. So you stay right there. All right, hold on. We're leaning. A oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> this is not good. We're, we're, per uh... nope. Don't do it like that, man. This needs to be precise. Okay. This is bad. This is real bad. Because it's... <laughs> God damn it. All right, stop doing R. Do you guys see where I'm going with this? I don't know how. All right, let's see if this works first. Okay, do we just need two fans? Maybe. We have a lot of fans. I will put down enough fans. What have I done? How have I thrust myself over here? What did I do? 
Okay, well, I don't know exactly what I did, but I made it over here. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I, I think I wiggled the platform enough that it just like kind of moved over here. In all my almost turning myself upside down. Um, okay. <laughs> my fan idea did not turn out, but I still, we still made it. That's all that was up here. Okay. All right. This is probably a really stupid idea. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. I didn't think that was what you were supposed to do, but hey. All right. So my question here is how do these work? So I just put a, let's try, hold on. Just attach a fan. All right, here we go, guys. We're going flying. Bicycle was in the way. Oh boy, try standing in the center. Dude, dude, take me over there. Take me over there. Oh, that's how we turn it. Oh my god, this is so fucking dope. I can actually fucking fly. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're out of battery. We're out of battery. Oh! Hey, relatively smooth landing. Let's fucking go, dude. Dude, that was so... That was... That was so cool. Oh my god. Dude. Is there anything here or is this just the closest place I could make it to, I think? There's fish. Can't quite go underwater yet. I could dive down. Ooh. You know what? I see something. Oh, hey. What's up, bud? Mm -hmm. We find ourselves in a sea of clouds. Interesting. That would mean we're at a quite an altitude. As you heard from the steward construct, this land is the Garden of Time, site of the kingdom's rites and ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Though in my day, it was on the surface. Oh, so all this was on the surface. It wasn't in the sky. And I made it. I literally made it rain. All right. Jack Yo Lantern said airship confirmed. Yes. Yep. We have the ability to fly. I mean, there was a paraglider in Breath of the Wild, uh, in Breath of the Wild. I think there's also a paraglider in this, but you needed, like, that right there, as long as you had enough fans. Ooh. Is this a Korok? I believe so. Oh, dude! Hey! Hell yeah, man! Paraglider was more like controlled falling, though, right? The water mechanics are on point. Yeah, they're fantastic. I don't have... A, I gotta be honest. I don't have a single complaint about this game so far. 
Gorgeous. All right, let's go into the Temple of Time. Let's get out of the tutorial-esque area, even though this place is cool. It's been fun. Hyrule is going to have a lot more NPCs, a lot more stuff to explore. Just be this open, massive environment. Side quests, everything else. So. Crycabit said, wonder if you could bomb launch it. Crycabit, by damn, I absolutely bet you can. The shit that people did with the abilities in Breath of the Wild is insane. If you guys just look up, like, glitching or, like, people, like, traversal weirdness in Breath of the Wild on YouTube, you'll see some crazy fucking shit. What is this? <laughs> Cinematic, probably. Face gonna go away for a bit. It's Zelda. Zelda never really dies. Obi. Obi, welcome to the stream. I think you were here earlier. I can't remember if I said hi. Sorry about that. She gave me some new power. <gasps> You're right, Crack Habit. Those that reminded me of the family jewels. Yeah. Recall reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. You can stop the reverse movement at any time. Whoa, bro. Hmm. Ah, recall the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. And Zelda has vanished as well. What you just saw is a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her sheer will. <laughs> That you've now been given this ability, no doubt it'll prove important. Okay. Okay, so I have recall now. Huh. Oh, because I need it to go the other way. Okay, I get it. I gotcha. Haha, <laughs> this is dope. I'm a fucking time wizard. Oh shit. <laughs> God damn it. Fucked up, man. 
Okay. All right. I've got it now, though. This is like messing with my brain, man. Rewinding time. Like, I'm looking at this stuff. I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, what, man? What? L to stop. Okay. I don't have to pull it back out to stop it. Okay. Good shit. Zelda timeline and the like the universe and everything it's very convoluted there's a lot to do with like it, it goes deep it goes hard Dracai said time manipulation while well, I'm sold now oh just wait dude can you imagine so this is how you have to start thinking about stuff in Zelda right we get a glider or, or we we use the flying device we were just using we put a fan on one of those flying things we're flying around right we start to go somewhere, we mess up, we turn on recall, we rewind to fix it, right? Or we're using the glider and we're going somewhere, but we don't quite make it and there's land above us. We just use our uh, ascend ability and literally go up through the land to get to where we need to be. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Open. I've only got one of those hands, though. <laughs> Push. Oh, it's taking my hearts. Do I have enough for this? It almost killed me. Oh, I need more hearts. The door stands as, as a test of your overall vitality. You remain in a weakened state. You're not yet strong enough to open it, but there is one more shrine on the on this island. There you could get another blessing. Okay. Oh, is it right there? If you added that to the other blessings you received at shrines and offer them all to the goddess, you might just find your way for it after all. Mm. Let me see the Pura pad. Okay. Yeah, the possibilities are insane. We don't even have all the abilities yet either. <laughs> uh, let you travel to certain places instantly. Okay. You could travel instantly to any of them. I'd suggest the one at the bottom of the map. Use the travel function to reach that area quickly. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. Okay. All right, so we're going to teleport. That's what those blue things are, is teleporting. I forgot about that. Oh, Josh, your middle brother and family are there. Jello, everybody. I gotta put my face back up. Just reminded me. Jello. All right. Yeah, look, we still have one, two... And then that's the map right there, but something might replace the map. We still have more abilities to get, so. Oh, bro. We could get over there now. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on. Is there anything I can use to, uh, climb up here? I need to be able to climb up there. Maybe not. There we go. Oh no. Oh no. Rewind, please. Yeah. 
is there uh okay Ooh. this might be a secret hey what's up phoenix thanks for joining what's up jano welcome welcome good to see both of you hope you're both well there's the shrine that's where the shrine was hidden with the recall ability okay hell yeah dude This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Uh, energy wells? An energy well can increase the capacity of the energy cell you are carrying. This increased capacity will allow you to use Zonai devices for longer periods. I can produce these energy wells for you if you bring me crystallized charges. Shall I begin production or would you like me to explain crystallized charges? I know about them. I don't have any. Wish I did. All right, hold on. Okay, there are gliders out here. Yo. Whatever you do, don't fall. <laughs> okay. So we do the shrine and then we glide out of here, right? Hold up though, what's up? All right, let's just do the shrine. I don't want to skilly it up and screw it up. They said hello, and it's awesome that you interact with chat. Oh, hey, thanks. I tried to. You guys are spending your time watching me, so that's the fun, that's the fun part of streaming. All right, we've seen the shrine animation a bunch. This is our fourth one, right? Are we getting another ability? So this whole sky area is kind of like the Great Plateau. If you played Breath of the Wild or you saw Breath of the Wild. The Great Plateau area was like a high up little mountain area that you were, couldn't get off of until you, you beat the little area and finished the, uh, and got the paraglider. But excuse me, I'm gonna need you to go back the other way, son. I gotta get over there, bro. The water's too fast to swim against. Same thing, man. I need a ride this way, bruh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, oh, 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 we just went right back up the waterfall, dude. <laughs> so fucking cool, man so cool all right uh i'm gonna need you to start going backwards as well gotta hitch a little ride there's a treasure chest up here thanks you can stop now arrows take it okay what is the deal here? I need it. It gave me arrows. I must need them for something. All right, hold on. Let's watch this for a second. Something's up here. Okay, so what if I just use... said how's the game so far it's fantastic fucking fantastic all right we'll let this one play because we've got some new people visitor to the shrine of light you have done well to reach this place thank you thank you we offer this light that will cleanse you of evil
I got my light ball. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Why am I dripping wet? <laughs> Four of them. There were... I'm gonna get this wrong. Somebody's gonna have to correct me. There were like 90... I want to say there are three numbers in my head right now. So there were similar shrines like this at Breath of the Wild with similar blessings. Um, and there were either 92, 94, or 96 of them. I don't remember how many. There were quite a lot. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Okay, so we've been all over the sky area now. That's the last thing we needed. Back to the Temple of Time, right? And then... We're going down to Hyrule. Was there always a red thing when you get a light? There was not. I don't know what the fuck that was about. I have no idea what was going on right there. Gotta be honest. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, dude. We need... Thank you. I need you to rewind that shit. I was not ready. Um, I need, uh, I need a fan. Oh, it's actually gonna rewind it? Like me put not putting it on the platform. That's funny. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> it rewinded it, dude. The recall ability is holy shit. Stop that. I need to move it. The recall ability is insane, bro. <laughs> I can't wait to see what speedrunners do with that. All right, we're in. We're going to go for a little flight, guys. What do you say? Time to go. Hey, Morgan. Morgan just became a channel member at the squadron level. Morgan, thank you so much for that extra support. I appreciate it. Come on now. Did I get myself stuck? Hey, Morgan, that helps me out a bunch. And that's really cool of you. So thank you. Appreciate it. Time to fly. Dude, bruh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Something's down here. Land, land, land. All right, straight down. Dive bomb, dive bomb. Go down, go down. There's a little island. Go down, go down. Stop. No! All right, it's okay. I killed myself. <laughs> no! All right, flying's hard. Flying is hard, okay? It's hard. There's a lot going on. I don't like flying in real life. I, I might have panicked a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy. Thanks, Drag Ice. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day now officially where I'm at because it's past midnight. It's 1.40 a.m. where I'm at. So, actually, I should put the fan on before I go doing this. No, that's not a good <laughs> That's terrible aerodynamics Alright, I think that's what this for is for right here Is so you can work on them Nope
All right, hold on. No, there goes my class. Glider. No, what have I done? What have I done? I need like that lock ability for a breath of the wild. I just stop sliding. Stop sliding. Stop it. Bad. Bad glider. Bad glider. No, 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 no. You will not go anywhere. No, stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. Okay, fine. I will attach the fan in mid flight if you make me. You son of a bitch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're flying. Uh-oh. Okay. That's not exactly where I wanted to put it, but, you know, desperate times, desperate measures, you know, all that, all that stuff. Fuck it. Oh, no. I'm dead again. I'm dead again. Oh, God. I'm... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I missed the island. Oh, fuck. Uh... Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Morgan said definitely worth it. Loving the content. Hey, thanks. Oh my God. The number of times I'm going to accidentally kill myself here. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What am I missing about attaching uh, flight controls to this thing? Like, seriously, that's my last glider, too. Well, fuck me. Uh, you know what? We're going to go without an engine. And I actually want to be pointed, pointed down. Water, 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 god damn it. Fuck. I missed. Uh oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Um <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's high rule down there. We'll get down there at some point. I have no more gliders left up. Okay, it, it brought some of them back. Okay, thank you, Gabe. I appreciate that you have realized that I uh am having some issues with life I really want to get to that island is it that hard what monstrosity did I just create you want to fly it will this even fly oh hey maybe that's how you were supposed to get it to oh dude this kind of makes sense all right hold on a sec Where's my... Where's my capsules? Perfection! Alright, onwards! It's not gonna fly. it's not gonna fly. It's too it's too heavy. Okay, I'll I'll break this one off. I was gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fly some monstrous fucking God damn it. God damn it. Get away from me. There's that dragon. <laughs> you guys want to see if we can fly over to the dragon? Let's do it. Nice and steady. The battery's going to run out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might be fuckered.
All right, batteries recharging some. It's okay. There is no need to panic. We're only five bajillion fucking miles up in the air. No, no, no. We are going the wrong way. Turn around. We are going to land on the dragon. I am, I don't have the weaponry to kill the dragon. I would be honest with you, but we're going to try to get to him. Oh, what the hell? Uh, I'm not going to survive this. That's the temple of time. Bye temple of time. Bye bye. Why did I just get flung off of my thing? I might get more glide distance. I don't understand what happened. I don't understand. I think because that was the second time it lost battery, did like the fan break or explode maybe? I don't know. I think the fan exploded. I think is what happened and it flung me off of the thing. Okay, this is okay. We'll land right down here. No, it's not okay. No, it's not okay. It's not okay. That's not water. It's not okay. It's not okay. Okay. All right, guys. I promise. I don't know that I can make the dragon. I really don't. I think it's way too far away. With my, and with my current skill set, I'm going to tell you right now, even if I got there, he's going to be an elemental. He's either going to be thunder or uh, ice or uh, water or fire. And I don't have any armor or anything special to deal with that. I don't have opposite elemental weapons. Like, what's going to happen is I'm going to get there. I'm going to land on him. And I'm going to immediately die if I were to make it. I want to go down. I, I need to go down. I want to go down to the top of the Temple of Time. I feel like I'm not. Fuck. I'm fucked. So fucked. Is there no water? Come on. Give me over water. Give me over water. Come on. Come on. <laughs> God damn it. Dev is my best friend. Dude, I, I just need to be able to get over the big body of water in front of the Temple of Time. I could probably teleport out of this, but this is way better, right? I'm making you scared of heights. I'm scared of heights in real life. So. Committed Sudoku, yep. <laughs> Dragice likes the ragdoll physics. Yes, they are. They are very pleasing. I just need to get over that big body of water next to the Temple of Time. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. <laughs> I think I'm there, right? Nope, I'm not. I fucked this up. I thought, dude, judging that was hard. God damn it, man. I was close. <laughs> Fuck! Obeat said you can make the dragon. I assumed you probably could. I am definitely not equipped to handle the dragon. Though. Also, guys, don't worry. 
We're going to be able to come back up here. Everything is accessible. So, and everything is re-accessible. So we can come back up here. We will get that dragon one day. I promise. I want to get down to Hyrule. I want to open the game up even more. All right, are we over in enough? What about right now? Right? That's it, right? That's definitely it. I made it. There we go. Dracai said you pinky promise. I do. I pinky promise. We will get to the dragon. Don't you worry. I tracked out all the dragons in Breath of the Wild and beat them. this part all right there we go we're gonna need recall when we get back in here Present our powers to the goddess. <clears throat> How do you get more hearts? Heart containers and heart pieces. We will find them. You can get a lot more hearts. You have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will grant you power. Yep, an extra heart. There you go. Heart container, yes. You can also find heart containers in the in just like in the world. That's what a heart container looks like. They also chuck them off into into four pieces, so you can find like a piece, and if you get four of them, then it gives you a whole heart. A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Now we should have enough hearts to uh, uh, open the door. <laughs> Just barely enough hearts. <laughs> Just barely. We got a quarter of one heart left. Ah, oh, good. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. You are exactly as Zelda said. I 
I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. I know what I'm supposed to do. I was like, how do I do this? But then I forgot about this. <laughs> Obeat said, how old is Link? Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put together that playlist. I'll probably work on it tomorrow and put it up before stream. There's a, there's a 45 minute video. I forgot who it's by. It's by Gabe Spot or IGN. It's actually really good. It goes over like the timeline from all of the Gabes, but all of the Zelda Gabes are on a timeline and they all have different rationale for how they fit together and everything. It's a little complicated, but that 45 minute video, now that you have to watch it, does a really good job explaining. But Link and Zelda and a lot of the main characters in the games aren't really you can't really say that they have an age i guess is what i would say uh Drakai is to say an ancient yeah ancient's a word they some of them get reincarnated some of them are gods and goddesses so it's it's uh it's difficult to explain it's difficult to explain without like dumping a bunch of zelda lore on you Let's just say this incarnation of Link, uh, while he appears to be fairly young and age-wise he is, he's, um, he's been around for some time, so. Yep, I got the skilly cam back. I wanted to see what it looked like if I exited, sorry. All right. Yeah, Dracice, you're right. They're somewhat ageless. I mean, Link has died before, and uh, I believe technically Zelda has died before too, if I remember correctly. It's confusing even to me, but it's it's I don't know. Each the the cool thing I like about the games is each game still makes sense as its own self-contained story. Um, and then if you're a really hardcore Zelda fan, and you and you have played a lot of the games, you'll find a lot of story links, a lot of lore links and stuff that you'll pick up on that carry over between games. But that's just like adds to like a deeper level of enjoyment for the game. If you're a big Zelda fan, you can just play Breath of the Wild or you can just play Twilight Princess and you have a contained story that's fun and interesting and engaging. So that's something that they do really well with the Zelda games, I feel like. Is that a piece of the Master Sword that was corrupted? Oh, it's like turning back time, fixing a piece of it? It sent it back to Zelda before this happened. Is 
She's wearing Zonai stuff though. This went back in time to when the Zonai stuff was down on Hyrule. The Master Sword's gone. Fuck. <laughs> or what was left of the Master Sword. <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, dragon. Dude, in Breath of the Wild, you literally run, you literally can get on those things' backs, run on their backs, and then you have to like, you have to like do certain things to weaken them to be able to kill them on their back. It's, it's fucking dope. Okay, so I think what happened there is we put the master sword into like some sort of magical time rift or something and we sent it back to zelda before ganon's corruption or the demon king's corruption and everything back to a zonai incarnation of zelda i think i believe so my theory about zelda is this is debated, right? I'm going to give you skilly take here real quick. My theory about Zelda is that Zelda is one of the three goddesses. If you don't know Zelda, this might be a little confusing. Zelda is one of the three goddesses in the Zelda universe who created the entire world in the universe. She's one of those three goddesses and she's continually reincarnated as basically a princess or one of the ruling members of Hyrule, which is the main kingdom in the world in this universe. That's my theory about Zelda. And uh, she, I think Zelda is sometimes aware of that or sometimes not. So I'm just supposed to jump, right? I think I'm just supposed to jump. Hey, thanks for subscribing to the channel, Matt. Appreciate it. Welcome. Good to have you. Hey, what's up, Swordwing? I think I'm just supposed to jump. Yep, we're going down to Hyrule. All right, I got to make sure I land in the fucking water, though. Here we go. Yes. All right, we actually made it. All right. We were up there. Now we're in Hyrule. Dave Seeking said, yeah, the Triforce. So yeah, the three goddesses created the Triforce, right? <laughs> Hyrule Kingdom. So apparently, uh, if you played Breath of the Wild, this is the exact same Hyrule, except they've, uh, it's been changed. There's new stuff, uh, but directionally, everything that was in Breath of the Wild is still here, for the most part. But they've changed some stuff, added some stuff, etc. So, hey, it's a, a Boboken, a goblin, basically, down here. Uh, so it wants us to go over towards Hyrule Castle, which we will do because we want to continue the main story for now. But the game is about to really start opening up. He had a bunch of apples. Thanks, brah. All right. What is this? Is this a building puzzle? Hyrule restoration materials. Use these materials, Kosh. 
Use this materials cache for all of your building needs. Come find us if you'd like a dream home. Hudson Construction. Yeah, that is a uh, Carolinas. You're right. That is what that is one fan theory about the whole thing is that Zelda is one piece of the Triforce. Link and Ganon are the other two, right? Um, Leon, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Somebody already did an eight, a 38 minute speed run of this game. How? How did they get so knowledgeable about a game of this size that they were able to speed run it in 38 fucking minutes? Damn it, they ran as soon as I shot. What smart fuckers. We found the lizard. I cut the grass and we found the lizard. You can sometimes find items in the grass. I just happened to remember that as I was walking. Obi said impossible. Yeah, dude. Bre it was speed running and Breath of the Wild got fucking insane. From him. I love messing with these guys. It dropped his weapon was on fire and I made him drop it because. <laughs> oh, the other guy's weapon's on fire over here. Because <laughs> I blew them up. Oh my god. Guys, we are going to have so. I don't care if you're a Zelda fan or not. We're going to have so much fun with this game. I hope you guys know that. This, this. <laughs> it's like an open world sandbox now. <laughs> Dave seeking said glitch hunters yeah a lot the speed running I'll be honest in breath of the wild had a lot to do with the abilities like people found ways to do crazy shit with them that basically like let themselves fling themselves across the world I'm gonna forget the name of it now but there was an ability in um breath of the wild where you could basically like freeze time and you could hit an object like a bunch of times and you could build up like kinetic energy on it and then when you finish, when you hit it enough times, you could release it and it would shoot that item like super fast. And you could use it to like kill enemies, like shoot a log at enemies and kill them or whatever. So people would literally like they would create a platform. They would add, put like a three or four logs on the ground and then they would add a metal platform on top. And then they would hit the logs with that kinetic ability. And then when they released it, they would like fly across the like ground at like super speed stasis. That was it. Thanks, James. Uh, thank you, Matt, too. Yeah. And then they would like fly across the ground at like super high speeds. Or I'll do you what even better. They would get on like a mountain or a cliff on the edge of it. They would set up the same thing use stasis hit it up a bunch and then they would fling themselves off the mountain and they're literally flying across the map on two logs and like a metal uh thing it was it's hilarious oh i've been meaning to show you guys this check this out so if you have a bow right you can jump and when you're in midair you kind of slow time you will still fall to the ground slowly. You slow time and it slows enemies too. And you can, uh, you get hits in. It's pretty cool. 
where are my shields all right we're gonna drop this and pick up the rusty one yeah there were glider and shield tricks there were a lot you heading out leon all right y'all even though i just got here i've got a long day ahead of me good night hey thanks for stopping by though appreciate it take care have a good one a boko bow oh uh, can i not take pick that up what bows do i have right now is there one i should get rid of i'll get rid of the wooden bow the boku bow is actually better i mean it's still just a four for damage but it's sturdier i believe all right we have to get over to the castle but first i need to fuse some weapons because we're running a little low there we go let's do that again <clears throat> there we go All right, am I heading the right way? No, it's over here. I see a shrine. Oh, well, let's mark that. Oh. Fuck, I'm gonna have to fight this guy first. He's got a bunch of apples on his back. There's a dragonfly here. Oh <laughs> no, actually fire fruit. Even better, dude. Oh. James, really, dude? Oh, that was that's a really high risk, high reward thing to deflect their beams back. Man, you could uh you could really if you mess that up, you take a shit ton of damage. It has to be tie it has to be a perfect parry, if I remember correctly. But boy, when you do it, is it is it fucking fun. Okay, how do I bring out the the picture thing again? How am I not remembering? Seriously, there we go. That's what it is. All right, we need to we need to pin that. Cuz there's a shrine over there. Okay, perfect. Anytime we see shrines, we got to pin them. There's going to be a lot of them. Ah, damn it. How long am I going for? Not much longer. I'm I'm losing a lot of steam. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> I still don't feel 100% either. Uh, the only reason I have done this so far is because I'm obsessed. I love Zelda and this is like sucked me right back in. It's that yeah, it's 2.15 my time. I'd like to get over here to Hyrule Cast. Ooh. Ooh, that's a that's a what are they called again? An onyx and O N Y X. The big one. Those are that's a mini overworld boss. I don't have the right weapons to fight him yet, though. I'm be honest. I need a horse too. We could get a horse. We could get a mount. I really need a horse. We could traverse the world a lot faster that way. So I think I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to build stuff here. I don't know what I'm supposed to build though. We'll work on that another time. For now, let's go ahead and screw these guys' day up. I don't know what the battery thing does, but let's... You guys want a big boom? Uh-oh. Oops, I killed myself. <laughs> I let him get too close. I let him get too close. 
Tovar said, I love it when you're so into game, you get lost in it. Yeah, I got lost in it. I honestly forgot that I, I, I was sick, like that I don't feel that I don't feel great. That's how it grossed I got of this. All right, let's let's try that one more time. I probably lost that bomb flower. Nope, I still got it. <laughs> I set everything on fire over there too. Shut up. Don't blow your horn and draw more enemies. I didn't say you could. Oh no, it's a blood moon. Oh fuck. Oh shit. Already? Are you kidding me? Uh. <laughs> Witness the blood moon's rise. When its red glow shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. Just as they did in a war long past, the world is threatened once again. So this was in Breath of the Wild. I recognized it immediately as was happening because it's, 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 uh, oh, shit. Uh, it brings back dead enemies and it puts a lot more enemies in the world and it makes it, uh, it, it makes enemies harder. They typically have more health. Uh, they're more aggressive. So I just killed these guys. And they got brought back because of the blood moon. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. All right, I need to heal. They got a new shield over here. Wooden shield. Can't carry that though. Do I need it? I don't really need it. I have a bunch of cooked apples. Baked apple. I got my apples got baked. Those apples got baked because I fired a bob arrow over here and it exploded the box. And it cooked the apples. No, Blood Moon, no treasures come back. Treasures will, uh, certain chests, like I think this type of chest right here, like the wood chest, certain th uh, resources and chests will respawn once you, like, an in-game day or two goes by. Uh, but the Blood Moon is solely related to enemies. So. Blood Moon did happen quick. It's not a it's not a rare occurrence, but it's not a very often occurrence, or at least it wasn't in Breath of the Wild. I got it on my first night in Hyrule. I don't know who decided to try and fuck me. But uh <laughs> Hey, a traveler's spear. That's an actual real weapon. Sweet. Alright, let's continue on. I wanna get to the castle and see what happens real quick. Oh, I see another shrine. Got to pin it. Okay. Hey, what's up, Setch? Thanks for joining. I hope you're doing good. Yeah, Obeat. I got I got a blood moon on my first night at Hyrule. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know what I did. <laughs> I pissed somebody off. I pissed some uh, goddess or god off or something like that. I see another shrine. Oh, that's the one I already pinned. Okay. Link? Mr. Link? <laughs> Is that really you? Where have you been? 
No one's seen you or Princess Zelda since you went under the castle to investigate the gloom. And that's when the castle rose into the air. Everyone's been so worried about both of you. Uh, Pura has barely slept. She's been trying to figure out where you two went. Oh. At the moment, Pura should be in that building with the telescope. Please hurry there now. She'll want to know that you're all right. Sure, dude. Lookout Landing, Hyrule Field. It's a little town outside Hyrule Castle. Hey, who are you? Oh. Robbie! Ah, what an excellent oh. night. Hey, hey, you. Where have you been? Robbie, head of Pura Pad Development. Okay. Oh. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope. Up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will you? Sure. So, that's a new character. Hatsuba said, Hatsuba, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Hatsuba said, wasn't the blood mood also to prevent glitches and crashes? Uh, I think that was a secondary thing for it. Yeah, I think they did it. The blood mood also represents like an enemy, an enemy reset, right? For the world, essentially. So yeah, I think it had, that was like a secondary thing, but yep. I'm good. I know about the pure pad. <laughs> Robbie, wait a minute. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to take stuff, man. <gasps> Joshua needs that for her chasm research. Don't touch any of it without her permission. I'll get in big trouble if you do. All right, dude. You need those eyes are freaky, bro. Got to be honest. I can pray to the statue. Pose. Oh, it won't pose. Oh, if you're a Zelda fan, you know what pose are. Well, when we find <sighs> it, you'll find out. Oh, he's gonna yell at me again. <gasps> I want it though. I'm Link. Don't you know who I am? The hero of time. Give me what I want. How do I go upstairs? <laughs> oh. What? Uh, Joshua? That hair, or Josiah, how would you say that? Joshua, right? Even though it doesn't have a U? That hair, those eyes, do doc, Dr. Pura! The swordsman, the swordsman has returned. <sighs> okay, now where have you been? Linky. You're not a ghost, are you? What are those eye things? What hey. the fuck? That looks interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Pure ahead of Lookout Landing. She has a cool design. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature. Pura. Pura Pad. And learn that Pura your new pad. arm belonged Pura. to someone named Rauru. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. It's a pretty good summary. Huh? Then... What? Are you saying you came from up there? 
Yep, I did. I just kind of dove bomb it, you know? I supermanned it. This Rao you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet, but I'm certain that the mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak to you and she gave you a clear message to find her. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search. I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tires tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hose. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Why does she call me Linky? <laughs> Pura, head of Lookout Landing, the highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zodai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She's used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. Holy shit. <laughs> she's High Lillian, though. Okay, she's of the Sheikah people. All right, so did we just get multiple? Yeah, Crisis at Hyrule Castle. All right, we got multiple quests. Poor Princess Zelda, all alone beneath the castle with that creepy mummy. I don't even know what I'd do if it were me down there. Just thinking about it gives me the willies. Swordsman, you gotta rescue Princess Zelda. So you guys were saying Joshia? Or Joshe? Joshe? Okay, Joshe. Hmm. If the princess really did tell you to find her, then you better do so and quickly. Captain Hose has been leading a search below Hyrule Castle. Talk to him to see how you can help out. You must reach the princess quickly if she's out there. I'm counting on you, Leek. All right, guys. I'm beat. I went five and a half hours, way longer than I anticipated, but goddamn, I could keep playing for 15 hours and just say, screw my body. But I do need to get some sleep. I need to try to kind of take care of myself. This was a ton of fun. I'm already, I'm hooked. I'm addicted. I'm loving this. It feels just as good as Breath of the Wild, but just so many added mechanics, so much added stuff. I'm definitely going to continue this. I'm definitely doing more. I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow night. If I'm still feeling good uh, and I have a good day tomorrow, I might stream, do a shorter one because it'll be a work night and I'll still be a little sick probably. Probably do like a three hour stream tomorrow night if I'm up to it. If not, I'll be back sometime during the week. I should be feeling better. I'll be back with more Zelda. And then next weekend, we're going to hit Zelda hard because, guys, I, I'm i loving this. And if you aren't a Zelda fan and you don't know anything about it, we're going to have... There's going to be massive creatures. There's going to be... We haven't seen anything yet. Listen, listen, listen. All right? Come here. Come here. I'm telling you. I'm promising you. Shit is going to get crazy. Okay? So you're going to want to come back and watch okay i promise so keep an eye on the channel keep an eye on, on socials and everything for the next stream but this was hella fun thank you guys for coming out i really appreciate it i hope everybody has a great rest of their night or day everybody take care and uh be awesome stay awesome